Brown. Adele is the daughter of Stacy and Devin Brown. She is a member of the softball, volleyball, and basketball teams and is active in HOSA and FCA. In her free time, she enjoys hanging out with friends, playing sports, and camping. After high school, she hopes to work in the medical field. She is escorted this evening by senior Grayson McCoy. Grayson is the son of Anthony McCoy and Kelly Sorg. He is a member of the football and track teams. In his spare time, Grayson enjoys hanging out with his friends, and his future plans are undecided. The second sophomore candidate is Elena Schmidt. Elena is the daughter of Kenny and Erica Schmidt. Elena is a member of the basketball, volleyball, softball, and cheerleading teams and is active in FCA, HOSA, and National Honor Society. She enjoys hanging out with her friends and playing sports. After high school, she plans to attend college and make millions. <laughs> Elena is being escorted this evening by senior Jackson Cambron. Jackson is the son of Denny and Carrie Cambron. He is a member of the football, basketball, baseball, and golf teams, and is active in National Honor Society, FFA, FCA, and Student Council. In his free time, Jackson enjoys golfing with his friends, hanging out with his girlfriend, and doing dumb stuff in Miss Gina's class. After high school, he plans to attend college and study statistics or sports management. The first freshman candidate is Marley Chase. Marley is the daughter of Megan and David Van Landingham. She is a member of the basketball, cheerleading, and track teams. In her free time, she enjoys hanging out with friends. After high school, Marley plans to pursue a career in the medical field. Marley is escorted tonight by senior Titan Williams. Titan is a son of Kelly and Travis Williams. He is a member of the football, basketball, and baseball teams and is active in BPA, FFA, Student Council, and is president of the card players. His favorite pastimes are reading, going to IU football games, procrastinating, and taking notes in Miss Gina's class. After high school, he plans to attend IU and major in sports media. The final candidate this evening is Presley Gibson. Presley is the daughter of Josh and Sharon Gibson. She is active in cheerleading, drama, and track, and is a member of the North Side Christian Church. In her free time, she enjoys spending time with friends and family, making TikToks with her friends, and late night car rides with her brother. In the future, she plans to attend college to become a sonographer. Presley's escort this evening is her brother, Peyton Schneck. Peyton is the son of Josh and Sharon Gibson. He is a member of the football team, and in his spare time, he enjoys working, spending time with family and friends, and fishing and hunting. After high school, he plans to attend the Lineman Training Center in Tennessee and become a lineman. Our princess this evening is Monroe Hall. Monroe is the daughter of Logan and Brooke Hall, and she is a kindergarten student in Mrs. Rutherford's class. Monroe enjoys playing Barbies, gymnastics, coloring, jumping on the trampoline, and swimming. Our prince tonight is Elijah Morrow. Elijah is the son of Seth and Callie Morrow, and he is a kindergarten student in Mrs. Combs' class. Elijah enjoys fishing, camping, spending time with family and friends, and he also plays fall baseball. Escorting Monroe and Elijah tonight are seniors Caden Clooney, Dylan Keller, and Alton Lundergan. Caden is a son of Cammie Elliott and Brett Clooney. He is a member of the football and baseball teams. In his free time, Caden likes to hunt. After high school, Caden plans to go to college and major in business. Dylan is the son of Quentin Keller. Dylan is a member of the football team. In his spare time, he enjoys riding four-wheelers, after high school, he plans to go to lineman school. Alton is the son of Joe and Brandy Lundergan. He is active in football, basketball, and BPA. In his spare time, Alton enjoys working outside of school, and after high school, he plans to attend college.
Join us, joining us tonight to pass down their titles are our 2022 King and Queen, Wyatt Johnston and Lizzie Chastain. Wyatt is currently a freshman at University of the Cumberlands, and Lizzie is currently a freshman at the University of Southern Indiana. Escorting Wyatt and Lizzie this evening are seniors Caden Abbott and Clark Nance. Caden is the son of Bubba and Brandy Abbott. He is a member of the football and golf teams and is active in FFA and JAG. His favorite pastimes is playing Little League football, and he is undecided on his future plans. Clark is the son of Keith and Marcy Nance. He is a member of the football and baseball teams. His favorite pastimes include drinking chocolate milk, avoiding people he doesn't like, and eating vegetables. His future plans are to win the lottery and fish. And now for your winners. The 2023 homecoming heartthrob is Jackson Cambrin. Your 2023 sweetheart is Elena Schmidt. The first runner up this evening is Eva O'Toole. The king for the 2023 football homecoming is Kenton Chase. <laughs> and finally, your 2023 football homecoming queen is Shelby Griffiths. Congratulations to all of those on the homecoming court.
All right, welcome. We're live here at Art Sanders Field here tonight on a kind of a crisp fall evening here at Art Sanders Field, a little cooler than what we've seen the previous uh, seven weeks of the football season. So week eight here, the Senators coming in here tonight on homecoming night, taking on the Crawford County Wolfpack here in a game where the Senators are trying to right the ship again. Uh, you know, we, we, we went down to Perry, struggled a little bit, uh, didn't play real good football, I didn't feel like. And, uh, you know, I know tonight the Senators looking to come back here, start working uh, towards the postseason play and a big game next week against county rival Salem. But, uh, you know, look to uh, right the ship here a little bit uh, against Crawford County. The professor once again here with us, Craig Akers, and joining me, my cohort, my partner in crime, my best friend when we're on the air, <laughs> Mr. Brad Fields. I am sorry, sir. You're, you are uh, young and beautiful. Uh, I, may, I made a comment. I'll go ahead and get clear the air. Go ahead and clear so the air. I made a comment that when Bubba played, the forward pass was not invented. <laughs> no, it was okay. not. So I, I, I agree. He, he did play with the single bar helmet mask. Yes, though. I did. I got uh, one hanging in my uh, okay. office. Okay, so we got that. And, uh, <laughs> Bubba, we come back. We talk about uh, this has been a season of comebacks. This is a get better game for the Senators. It seems like we had this. It, it, yeah. it reminds me too much of the talk we had after um, the Paley defeat. We come home and we got to take care of business against uh, North, North Davies. Davies. And tonight we got to do it against a, uh, a very young Crawford County team with one senior on their team. We talked about the numbers that they have. And uh, the Wolfpack are uh, – the Wolfpack have, you know, they they've they've got a problem. They've got as they, they got about as many wins as I'm holding up right here on my hand, which is zero against yeah. West Washington. Yeah, they they've struggled a little bit, but you know, I I was glad to see when I come in. What the heck? I'm catching all the. Uh, oh, you got the. Uh, there we go. There we right go. Out there. Yeah. Hey, Paul, but the Livonia Fire hey, Department. Li Livonia yep. Fire Department just got a free plug from co uh, from uh, former Sheriff Claude Combs, a yeah. PA announcer here, as uh, we had that plugged in for the live stream on the uh, homecoming activities. So uh, we forgot to unplug it there. I, but uh, that's anyway, um, you know, my point is I was glad to see when I pulled in that Crawford's yeah. numbers are up. Um, you know, they, like you said, they got one senior, but – they got a lot more kids than what they've had in the past. You know, it looks and like their roster's got about 24 or 5 on there. So, you know, they've they've come up in numbers. I know last couple of years there, there was there was a question on whether or not they'd be able to field 11 to play again. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, that that is good to see for Crawford. And I think Coach Bell has done a good job with them. I really thought, you know, last year uh, when I went down there and, and did that game, uh, for WWSR, I, I felt like they did some things and they had some kids that could play a little bit. You know, they were just young and uh, inexperienced, and, you know, that's going to come. But it's good to see their numbers up. I know they're trying to build things, and, uh, you know, my best wishes to them to uh, get their football program back going here after they started it up. And that's always hard to do, you know. it's it, you got to get every – kid walk in the halls to come out and play and that's you know that takes some time and I think they are on the way up though and we are going to be stepping aside here shortly for the national anthem we wanted to before we uh, go to that though here on the Jamie Sullivan Raymond James pregame show uh, if you are looking to sponsor West Washington live stream or WWSR many of our broadcasts here Give one of us a call, Bubba, myself, uh, or Mr. Akers. Um, Darren Russell there at the athletic department is probably the easiest way. We can get you a, a package for anything you're really looking for there. So uh, help us bring this to your living room or to your cell phone or wherever you're at. Uh, my wife uh, talks about how convenient it is just to watch it on the phone. Yeah. It's something really nice to be able to do. Yeah, and it is. And, you know, we get – there's a lot of people out there that can't get to the games. And, you know, we try to do our best to bring it to you. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just a pleasure to be able to do it here. We've got a great program. Mr. Akers runs a great program here, one of the best that you'll find in uh, any part of the state of Indiana. So we're going to pause here in just a sh brief minute, and we're going to do the – national anthem here at Art Sanders Field. And then we'll be back with the rest of our pregame here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington Livestream and WWSR.
expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave high school sports fans welcome back to game time, to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. All right, welcome back here to Art Sanders Field on a beautiful, crisp fall evening here as we get ready for some football action. Senators return home here for the final two games of the regular season this, uh, this uh, Friday night and then next Friday against uh, county rival Salem as they'll come in to Art Sanders Field here. So we welcome you to our broadcast this evening. Once again, joining me on the air tonight, the Professor Craig Akers along with 
Brad Mills, my best friend, as I mentioned. Hey, I earlier. made my amends during for the last <laughs> I break. Know you got we're good now. With you. I'm about to buy a car too, just to <laughs> get this off of me. Well, that'd be all right too uh, if you're I in know. the market. I am. So <laughs> we have the Eddie Gilstrap keys to success, but what are they tonight? Well, I think our keys tonight is is you know you got to put the 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 loss last week behind you. I felt like it was probably one of the. Um, I never like to be too negative, as I've mentioned that before, but I, th I've, I didn't feel like we played well. And, you know, you just got to come out here now. You're two weeks. Uh, execute, execute, yes, execute. That from was the three the words I wrote down. You sectional. execute all three sections of the game. You got to come out here and work on your stuff, put your best game together. You know, Crawford is an opponent that's not, uh, you know, not got to win. So, you know, it's a, it's a game where you can work on some things, and I think that's what the Senators are trying to do, especially offensively. We, we haven't found our stride. I thought the North Davies game, we really kind of come back into it, and then last week had a little letdown. Yeah, and, and so. you, know, you were at Crawford County last year, and you yes, saw us get better. We did. And that helped propel us against Salem. And it then did. helped us win a first-round game of sectional. So it got us better. And so that's what you do right now. I think that you're going to see the centers mix a little things up tonight. They may There may be a little more shotgun action, I think. I, I think there could be. The, and I, I think, you yeah. know, uh, that, you know, these, these younger kids that we've been playing, you know, in some positions yep. have kind of – are starting to come into their own yeah. a little bit. So Big JV win on Monday. It was you know? a great win there against a good, good Tell City. City. They had only lost two JV games. They were like five and two coming into that game on Monday. So the JV kids played well. And, uh, you know, so it's 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 great to see that the, the kids are starting to come together. And this is what you want here on, uh, you know, towards the end of the season. So homecoming activities went down here tonight. Uh, you know, congratulations to Kenton Chase, who was the homecoming queen. And then also uh, Shelby uh, Griffiths was the homecoming queen. So, so yeah. congratulations to those kids. And uh, we got our coin toss going on now. But, yeah, our keys to the game are definitely – to come out here tonight and uh, regroup and get things going here a little bit as the captains meet at midfield there for uh, both teams, Crawford and uh, We brought West it up Washington. only one senior for the Wolfpack, Nash Trout. And this makes me feel real old because Nash's parents have dedicated 17 years to Crawford County football. Yeah. They, they've been there since the inception. Their, uh, their son, Nick, is on the staff. I coached him. Uh, he played at Hanover, um, and then we've got Clayton Sheckle, their young man. So there's four coaches over here. So there is some bright spots for the, the Wolfpack as they're looking. There's a lot of second to third generation players now that you'll see that are coming back and helping. So it'll be interesting to see as uh, – some I, we looks like we have uh, the Wolfpack declined. Yeah, they declined. So we'll get the ball first as we will receive the football here tonight, as the captains meet out there at uh, midfield. Kenton Chase, uh, along with uh, Titan Williams and also uh, Jackson Cameron and Caden Abbott. Caden Abbott out there out there tonight. So uh, ready to get things going here for the uh, Senators tonight here on week number eight of the football season hard to believe yes. it goes so fast and it, it, it's a blur we get we get anticipated like i think about i don't know about you about july i get that itch oh to, i know i'm ready to and, go and, and then, then it seems now like it's it, almost over it's almost over you know yeah. and now so here we are and uh it's it's kind of a put up or shut up time for the the centers yeah i did want to mention too that the uh sectional draw is this sunday, sunday. so and i talked about with coach lowry that he doesn't get too high doesn't get too low on it right. we actually talked it was his his focus and the team's focus. He said, "We're not looking past this." He said, "People think you know you're looking past this week." He said, right. "We got to do. We got to get right." Yeah, you, you got to get things right, right, and because uh, otherwise it doesn't matter who you draw no. if you're not right to go. And and he was talking about getting right off air on a lot of levels. You know, not only physically, mentally. You know, out there on the play, that's something that's huge. You got to have those. You got to have those things so that you can feel like you know you're in the right mood here. Is uh, we're looking at uh, number. I'm trying to figure out their kicker. That's there. 88. 88. That's, that's him. Nick. That's Nash Stroud. Nash Stroud. I'm, yeah, calling, so I'm gonna call him Nick all night. He'll yeah. kick off as the Senators will put uh, uh, number eight back there deep to receive the kick. Hudson Crest. So Stroud will uh, get this ball He's game underway. He's got the best pair of rec specs ever. <laughs> control the controllables here tonight. So we got to take care of ourselves. And then uh, get things going. So Stroud will approach the ball. He'll put oh, it in play. Pooch Short kick. pooch kick fielded by the Senators. Oh. They come up and take it Number. as uh, Hunt uh, was actually the receiver <laughs> on that one from the uh, second line. So he took that and returned it all the way down to the Crawford County 44-yard line. And that's where we'll get things started here tonight. And that was something he saw on tape, you can tell, because when he took off, he's like, yep, I'm off and, you know, 
off to the races. He almost was. He had two guys to beat there. So the Senators will bring the offense out here, led by Kenton Chase, the quarterback. We'll see what they do here on first down as uh, Hudson Crest will line up behind him in the backfield. Kind of a wing formation mm -hmm. once again for the Senators uh, with, the, uh, with the two running backs uh, on each side, one on each side, and then Hudson in the middle in the back. And Kenton will go under center to take this first snap as the officials get things set. And we're about ready to go here with our first play from scrimmage. Now they're coming over to the yeah. sideline to talk to uh, Coach Lowry. I'm not sure what right, that's asking, about. Asking something for up here. They're looking up here, but not sure. So still uh, looking at the box here. The, uh, the head referee uh, looking up here. The white hat, they like to call him. So he's... Uh, Trying to send some signals up here to. So they're trying to figure out what uh, what happened there, but uh, they're saying they, which the clock would start. I mean, I don't know why they uh, didn't want the clock to start, but uh, that was the call here. So they're still standing on the sideline. Let's maybe, just play ball, boys. Maybe they just wanted the clock to go ahead and start running. I don't know. It's, uh, well, I don't know what it is. Well, so, I don't know what they're doing is. Let's not get the cart before the horse. I don't know. The, uh, some, I, I mean, let's see what we got. Is This is always fun. We need to let them play. Yeah, let's just going. play ball. I mean, yeah. at this point, it doesn't make any difference. Yeah. It, you know, we won a sectional championship. Mr. Akers and I were at uh, Perry Central. We had barely a clock. Uh, the the 25-second uh, clock was the only clock we had that night. And that was a right. That was a lot of. I did some games like that at, at Salem one night. Work. They're gonna send the back as they're sitting here trying to figure what out. They're doing they're, they are staring us down and. They're gonna sit here and they're asking something. All right, Jeremy's talking. So to I'm not sure what that was all about, but anyway, we'll try to figure it out as he. Okay. Official will go over. We'll get things going first and ten. And boy, he just wanted everybody to he see did, him start did. that clock. And all the centers wanted to do was run on the first play. All right. <laughs> so here we go. First and ten, West Washington at the Crawford 44. Snap will come here on first down as yeah. we have somebody jump off sides against the defense. So that'll spot him uh, five yards. That, so, that uh, looked like Stroud over there on the defensive end. Yeah, he when, got a little bit yeah. anxious there. Well, that'll as move he's, it to the 39. As he saw. McCoy come in motion, get set. He thought that was going to be the snap, so he took off. So Kenton will go back to the huddle now, and uh, they'll regroup here. It's a first and five play now instead of first and ten. Senators will break out, come to the line, and Kenton will go back under center wing in the backfield with Hudson Crest right behind Kenton there. They'll take it, turn, hand it off. It goes to Crest, and he's got a seam in the middle, runs through, and no, Kenton kept it. He's he, down the sideline, 10 score. 5 touchdown. I was sitting there looking for yeah, Aiden I, Bell. I, I thought Crest. Aiden Bell had made the tackle, and Kenton chases off the races for a 43 yard touchdown on the 39 first yards. They moved it all you know, did, on that yeah, penalty. On the penalty, yes. So he scores from 39 yards out on the first play from scrimmage, and the Senators up 6 to nothing here over the Wolfpack right off the bat. So West Washington will uh, send in the kicking unit now as um, they will go to put the point after up. Gavin Hunt to do the kicking duties once again as he'll step in there. He'll spot the uh, tee down there at about the 10-yard line. Jackson Cameron to hold for him as a snap will come from Titan Williams. Snap of coming here on the point after. It's down, the kick's up, beautiful. and it's beautiful right down the center, as you said, Coach. And the score is 7 to nothing here with 11.47 uh, left. 11.47 to go in the first quarter. We're going to step aside for a quick commercial break. You're listening to WWSR and the West Washington live stream, the official home of West Washington Athletics. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at youproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812 
812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. All right, back here live, a great start to the game for Kenton Chase. He wins a homecoming king and then <laughs> runs the first play from scrimmage, 39 yards for a touchdown. So Hunt will come in to kick it off for the first time. He squibs it across oh, the a, ground. What a bounce. Great bounce there as it's fielded by Crawford. Isaac Number Adams 45 falls on, falls on it right at the 34-yard uh, line. So that's where Crawford will start. First and 10 with their first offensive possession of the night. Senators leading seven to nothing here at Art Sanders Field early in this first quarter of play. I tell you what, that's a play right there, an inch more, and then it would have definitely went over the head of Adams there, and that might have been a, a recovery for the Senators. They're going to throw, a, I, I think, another three-man front we talked about there. And right. We'll see what they can match with Brookover and uh, Houchin there on the wide side, and then J.G. Cruz right in the middle. Quentin Bell, the sophomore quarterback, son of head coach uh, Tony Bell, will be the quarterback tonight. He'll go out of the gun. They'll spread things out here as they go two receivers wide to the far side, one to the near. Snap almost goes over his head. Bell will pull it down, gets rid of it the last second. Picked off. Interception McCoy. right there by McCoy in the right place at the right time. So, uh, number two trying to get it down the field, and it is intercepted by McCoy. So, the Senators will get it right back. And not a good start for Crawford here. And that's, that, that starts a pre-snap. If you look at the pre-snap, the line was a little shaky. And as he makes the – as the ball gets to him, it bobbles in his hands. So, it's all of a sudden hops here. I would have liked to have seen him carry, just keep that. And he could have yeah, got a couple yeah, yards. Yeah, he could he have. Was, he had he, running room. He had running room. And – and he cut it back up the middle, but uh, he elected to throw it, and that was a break for the Senators. They'll take over first and ten at the Crawford 47. As Kenton will go under center once again, turns this time, pitches it wide to McCoy. He's got a big seam. He makes a cut up towards the middle. Nice tackle there by, by Brody number five, Fish. Brody Fish, as you talked about prior to the game, the fish fry. The fish fry, there we go. <laughs> going on. So. Well, for Brody, he's hoping there's not a fish fry tonight because that means he's going to get burned. So, uh, he's uh, – Nine-yard pickup by McCoy. It'll bring up second down and one all the way down at the 38-yard uh, line of the so we got that beautiful pack. light starting here from the, on the field. Yeah, here it comes. Uh, Kenton Chase under center once again. He sets McCoy in motion, turns, hands it off this time. Hudson crests the ball carrier up the middle, and he carries it deep into the secondary all the way down to about the 27-yard line. So a gain of 11 there Con by Cress on second and one. Connor Morgan with the, uh, you could call it, right along there. I think that was a Kevin Hart movie. Yeah. Um, he just he right jumped along. on his back. He and just, just jumped on his back and put a quarter in and went around that uh, drugstore pony there and uh, got a first down. So that's good to see Ken, I mean, to get to see uh, Hudson getting. We talked yes. about him. We need to see him He's get He's got to get going for yep. his first and ten. So they'll line up again, wing in the backfield. Uh, Kenton will go under center, sets a man in motion, and Miller, now he turns, hands it off to Cress, and he breaks a tackle. He's to the outside. Oh, oh. slipped down, but he kept his footing, and he gets all the way down inside yeah. the five. Man, he <laughs> almost went down at about the 20-yard yeah. line. He stops But he put his hand on the ground and kept himself yeah. up. Uh, Tyden Williams kind of slipped and missed a block there at the very end, so that's why Ken, I mean, why Hudson had to make a quick cut and uh, – he goes all the way down to the ground and keeps it going. He's going to put him down on the four-yard line there, Bubba. Yeah, 23-yard pickup there wow. by Cress on first down. So I'd, I'd say this is either going to be Tyler Miller or Hudson up the middle. Hudson's done the, the labor. Yeah, he's done the work. I Give it to him his. again. So, first and goal from about oh, the Miller four. The They'll pitch. pitch it wide. Oh, good defensive play there oh, as Stroud. they hit Stroud. Comes yeah. across and uh, pulls down Tyler Miller. Actually lost a couple yards back to about – well, but they're going to say about three yards. Yeah. Back to the seven-yard line, I believe, is where they spot it. Bubba, you can't see from here, but Nash Trout has the best pair of rec specs since Chris Sabo. <laughs> and he's got a pair that's just all of a sudden they're really awesome. Little bitty kid. Um, when I was coaching his brother, remember that? He was a little water bug running around. Second and goal now back at the seven. So yep. a little more room for the Senators to work. Kenton Chase will go under center. He'll take the snap, turns, hands it off to Cress. He breaks a tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. So, Chris 
rewarded there with a seven-yard touchdown run. Senators up 13 to nothing here in just uh, about uh, two and a half minutes or so off the clock. So 9:21 still to go here in this uh, first quarter of play, and the Senators already with two touchdowns on the board. They'll line up here to kick the point after once again. Hunt back in there to do that for him as he'll set up there at the 10 as he'll spot down. Uh, Jackson Cameron to hold again. Titan Williams with the snap here. Hunt holding it there. The snap comes. He puts it down. The kick is wide, uh, yeah. way wide, as he kicked it wide to the left, and it's no good. So our score will remain 13 to nothing here. 9:21 to go in the first quarter. We'll take a break on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877 227 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. All right, back here live, Art Sanders Field, 921 to go in the first quarter. West Washington up 13 to nothing here over the Wolfpack of Crawford County and two touchdowns in really quick time here. We had the interception set up by Grayson McCoy on that last drive, and then Hudson Crest taking it in from seven yards out to put the Senators up 13 to nothing. Hunt will kick back off to the Wolfpack. He's been getting – his foot's been getting a lot of work tonight, but that's all right. Yeah, it's good. We need uh, we need uh, that going into postseason play. So, Hunt will kick that's it. This one's one. a nice deep one fielded back at about the 17. That's Quinn Bell. Brought out of there by Bell. He gets hit up at about Actually, the – that's Fish. I apologize. Uh, it was Fish. At about the 30-yard line, so a pretty decent return by him. And the Wolfpack will start their second drive, first and 10, from their own 30. So, Bubba, uh, we were talking about tomorrow. I drove past the, the lot there. At the yes. Strap, and there was not any, no cars in the lot. So, what's going on tomorrow? Well, actually, tomorrow we got our customer appreciation days. Uh, had a lot of things planned. We got a big car show going on up there, Random Rides Car Club out of Salem. We'll be there with a lot of their automobiles and uh, lots of deals going on. We also have a dinner that's eat what you want. Pay what you want. So come up, have some lunch. We got pulled pork, baked beans, cold slaw, all the fixings there tomorrow. Lots of desserts. So come up and check it out. Uh, first and ten now for the Wolf Pack. They'll fake now. They do hand it off, and the ball come loose. I think we got that one back. Yeah, he went to make the the uh, the handoff to Bodie Laswell there, and it just never got in number 18's hands. No, it one. didn't. I mean Crawford just destroying herself here in this first quarter, but back to uh, the customer appreciation days. We were supposed to have Malik Renew uh, from uh, the Indiana University basketball team there tomorrow, but last second uh, changes there for him due to some practice things that are going on for the IU basketball team. So we're going to have to reschedule that part of the customer appreciation, but he'll be back down before basketball season, I'm sure. All right, Senators take over at their own uh, – we're at the Crawford 28-yard uh, line. They'll take the snap. Kenton will roll out, wants to throw. Got time, got a man open, hits him as he gets it to Tyler Miller inside the 10, all the way down to the 7-yard line. Aiden Bell there with the touchdown saving tackle for the Wolfpack. The free safety, he's a junior for Coach Bell, his father there. So Miller with the reception takes it down to the 7, a 21-yard pickup there on the reception by Miller. So it'll be first and 10 for the Senators, or actually first and goal inside the 10 there at the seven yard line. So that's where they'll spot up and knocking on the door again here early. I, I think Hunt's gonna get a nice little off, off tackle here. They'll uh, set Hunt in the oh. backfield fumble by the Senators. Kenton alertly gets down on it as he tried to pull out of there yes. a little too quick. And uh, Kenton very alertly got back on the ball. So 
what what's crazy about that play, Caden Jones for the Wolfpack, Bubba, leaped over the ball, yeah. and Caden was able to come under it and get, get the ball back. Had he just been right on like a normal pace, he would have he would have had himself a nice little fumble recovery right there. So second goal now from about the eight as they lost about a yard on that uh, fumble. Looks there. like we're on the same play there, just kind of. So they'll set up, take the snap, turn, hand it off to Hunt. He'll take it off the right-hand side down close to the goal line, but a little short. Looks about a six-yard gain for him to start on his first carry there. Yeah, he takes it down to just about the one. So Hunt with the uh, carry there. So it'll be third and goal at the one. 7.47 left here in the first quarter. Wolfpack looking to start off uh, – something here because they've uh, yeah they need <laughs> something good to happen Kenton Chase will go under center at the one yard line he'll take the snap turn hand it off to Kress He's and in. Hudson goes in for his second touchdown of the night and as that crew comes on that's a that's a no nonsense drive really outside of that fumble there where Ken was able to literally drop it and get to it the Senators take the 19 nothing lead and uh, hopefully for number 19 here he makes it 20 to 20 to nothing yeah, 19 to nothing. He likes that 19 number. Ooh, so. great tackle there by Maddox <laughs> Lowry in the end zone. <laughs> yeah, they got a little game going on down there. You I know? don't know who that was in the gray that shirt. That game's a little closer, I believe. Maybe, so we'll step maybe back. Maybe one of the Deaton kids down there. <laughs> As Hunting will attempt the point after here. So they'll spot it down there at the 10. Snap will come. Jackson Cameron with the hold kick is That's up. And beauty. that one's good as he puts it through. So 20 to nothing here in this first quarter and the Senators have done it with turnovers <laughs> after that first drive when they got the opening kickoff and uh, Kenton took it on the first play, 39 yards for the score. Yeah. Kress has followed it up with two touchdowns inside the well, red look at, zone. Looking at your play sheet here, there's two There's two problems you know, for the Wolfpack. They yeah. only got two, two on plays. offense. And while we've got a, quite a few on our side. Yeah, and 13. even though ours haven't been long drives yeah. because we've chunked up some big yardage yeah. on that pass play was 21 yards on that drive. And then we got it down inside the 10, fumbled there on first down. Second down uh, run wasn't very good, but then Hunt got uh, six down to the one and then Hudson able to tap it in there from the one yard line. So 20 to nothing here in the first quarter, 731. Remaining in this quarter as Hunt will set up here to kick it off once again to the Wolfpack. They'll put Fish and also, I believe, number. Who's the other Bubba, guy let me tell you here? something that's crazy, too. I just looked at this roster. They only have one junior, also. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they, they are have extremely young. young. Two upperclassmen. I know we're going down there to play JV just a couple quarters on Monday, and then South Spencer's yeah. coming up. Nice deep kick by Hunt is yeah. touched back there by Fish at about the four-yard line. Oh. He picks it up and brings it out. Nice two-string tackle there yeah, by Jackson Cameron. Yeah, to about the 13 or 14-yard line where they'll spot it down here first and 10 for the Wolfpack. Well, that's good. that's a good scenario where you get it's like a jamboree style for JV because at least you're getting some plays yes. in. And South Spencer, I'm sure, will be pretty yeah. solid. They uh, – you know, they've got a good program down there. so That's a good, be good halfway for spot for kids. all of us to kind of go to play South Spencer. So, uh, Rockport, which is, mark my words, is probably where we'll be week one on our yeah. luck. We'll be down Our there. luck, that's where we'll there be. We'll First be and trying. ten for the Wolfpack as they'll set up at their own 15. They mark it out. So, Wolfpack will break the huddle, come to the line. Bell, the quarterback, they've only run two offensive plays, both in turnovers, one an interception and then a fumble. So Bell go out of the shotgun, split backs, and the Senators jump off sides. Had two guys over. J.G. Cruz, the first one over. So that's the most positive uh, play for hey, you, the you, Wolfpack. You didn't turn it over. That's how you have to look on that that's play. That's true. So it'll be first and five now. Up at the 20-yard line for the Wolfpack here as Bell will go out of the gun once again, split backs in the backfield next to him. He's got a receiver wide to each side. He'll set up there at the 20. Snap will come. It does. It's a, a kind of a high snap, but he pulls it down, gets out of there with it as he brings it to the outside, gets a shirt tackle Clark, out there. Clark Nance, Clark Nance uh, dragging him down by the shirt, but he got a first down out of it as he gets it up to about the 27 or 8 yards. And, and we brought that up, Bubba. He's had some lanes to run in, you know. Yeah. Unfortunately for him, I'm, I'm going to have to tell him, you know, if it, you just got to keep doing it over and over again. So he picks up eight yards on that carry out to the 28. 
and it'll be first and ten for the Wolfpack. So their first uh, first down of the night as Bell gets it with his legs there on that first down run. He'll set up, split backs in the backfield as they kind of got a real tight formation, yeah. all three guys, kind of a T formation there in the backfield. Snap will come, they'll turn. This time they hand it off to Stroud, and he just dives forward and goes down at about the 30. Well, it's it's almost out of necessity, Bob, because you're hoping that that lead guy can throw a block yes. and, and give the guy a couple yards, and, you know, you get three or four yards because – these guys are playing both sides of the ball, all three sides of the ball, if you count special teams. So they need to find some pace to go because you can't just come and throw it three times. Second down and eight now at the 30-yard line. Well, they mark it just a little shy. They give him just a yard, 29-yard lines were spotted for the Wolfpack. 6.04 to go here in the first quarter. West Washington already up 20 to nothing. They'll come and break the huddle. T formation now. They split Stroud out wide. As the snap will come out of the shotgun, Bell will pull it down, looks to run with it. He's got some time, gets it towards the sideline, steps out of bounds up at about the 32-yard line. So a couple-yard pickup there. Well, it makes it a manageable third down, which is yeah, – Third and six now for the Wolfpack. They give him about three on the carry. So the ball spotted right there at about the 33-yard line. So and third you know, down six. And this is where the Wolfpack, if they went something that was a little bit off balance, might actually help them on a play like this. Yeah, a little bit more. I, I'm surprised. There, as they as we say that, look. There they go. Trips, trips trips to the, to the left. left here as they'll okay. set up Bell in the shotgun. I mean, you're wanting, you're wanting to go this way, maybe get some ISO over here and try yeah, to take out. Yeah, possibly. So Bell will take the snap. He'll roll towards the left, gets to the outside of his blockers, and – Finally uh, gets hit and goes down at about the 35. So he only got a couple yeah. yards out of it. But uh, it should yeah. bring up a fourth and about three now for the Wolfpack at their own 35-yard line. So we'll see if they punt it away or they go for it. I'd say they'll punt yeah, here, and that's going to be the call. So they'll step back there to kick it away. Number eight, Aiden Bell. Back there to kick it away for the Wolf Pack. Senators have nobody back. No, nope, they're going straight up the gut here. They're going after. No, they fake it. Fake it, fake it. And they get to Oh, oh we got a big a shot there from Zach Stice. And then and Stice Hudson hits Chris him with in. quite a shot there. Stice knocked him to the ground. Didn't, didn't really wrap him, but he hit him hard enough. He went down. So the fake uh, on fourth down as Bell tries to run it to Aiden Bell. And he uh, didn't gain any yardage, so a turnover on downs for the Wolfpack, and they'll give the Senators the ball back at the Crawford County 35. So, and not a good call <laughs> there. Aiden looking at his dad. There was some. That's going to be something to the dinner table. Probably should have punted that ball away. I tell you what, Jackson Cameron right here on the post <coughs> looks wide open. So they'll set up. Kenton will come back out with the offense. Sets uh, McCoy in motion. They'll pitch it to him wide to the right. He cuts outside, breaks a uh, tackle out there, and finally chased out by Quentin Bell all the way down at about the uh, 15, 14 yard line. They'll spot him out. So a gain of 21 there by McCoy on first down as he takes it down, or excuse me, a gain of about 11 on first down. I guess we got a time now. We're stopping the, stopping the clock. All right. Yeah, he did what he did. Get <coughs> he got out of bounds. Yeah. So inside the 15 at the 14 yard line is where those spotted up. 16 yard pickup there by McCoy. On first down, snap will come. Quint, or Kenton will roll out, wants to throw. Now he tucks it and runs it, and he's got a seam. He'll go yeah, in man. for the touchdown from 14 yards out as he gets his second touchdown of the night. So yeah, the, him and Hudson both with that two de scores. The defensive end there of uh, Connor Morgan gets hooked, and then Kenton just goes right around him and all the way to the end zone. So they're going to be kicking here, hoping for a 27th point here. Yeah, 26 to nothing now as Hunt comes back in to attempt the point after kick. <laughs> He'll spot it there at the 10. Jackson Cameron to hold. Titan Williams to snap it for the Senators. Still 4.45 to go here in the first quarter. And the Senators about to go up maybe 27 to nothing here. Kicks up and that one straight down the center. It's good. So 27 to nothing here 
with that 445 to go, we'll step away, hear a word from a sponsor on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington Livestream, and WWSR. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. All right, thanks to the professor, Craig Akers there, Michael Long, American Family. We appreciate his support. Kick by Hunt. It's going to be fielded down there at about the 22-yard line. He'll bring it out up to about the 33 or 4. They'll spot it. it looks like the 34-yard line. So it will be first and 10 there for the Wolfpack. And they have yet to have the ball on the West Washington side of the 50. And they've, here. they've shot themselves in the foot yes. a lot of times, you know. And, uh, Three turnovers. Turn uh, well, two turnovers and a turnover on down. So, yeah. Um, yeah, they just haven't been able to get anything going offensively. They tried that fake uh, on the punt, and that didn't go anywhere either. So they'll break the huddle, come to line, first and 10 from their own 34. Quentin Bell, the quarterback back there in the backfield. T formation as they line up tight there in the backfield. Snap will come. It does, and he'll take it, keep it himself. Just tries to follow his blockers. Now tries to go off the right side and or left side and gets smothered by the right-hand side of the Senator defense there making the tackle. So no gain on the play. And that's strength versus strength there, Bubba. That's when you have a team that's – you look at right there with the, the size we have, but also the strength up front that is able to push that back. And yep. that's why that you're not able to get there. They're trying to throw that tight formation just to have two blockers. I give him about a yard. So it will be second down and nine here for the Wolfpack at the 35, their own 35. They'll split two receivers wide or one on each side here and then set up uh, with a lone set back there with Bell. The snap will come. Bell keep it, steps back, now looks to throw. He's got pressure coming, now gets it away at the last well, the second. Got a guy down there, brother. and it's caught by his brother right there as number eight, Aiden Bell, comes in with the catch. So, yeah. a big play there all the way down to the Senator 28-yard line. So Quinn, Quinn Bell looking like Johnny Money Man Manziel there on that play. Hits his brother in about the only spot he can, and then big first down for the Wolfpack there. Yeah, about a 26-yard pickup there on that second down and nine. Bubba, so, how many times do you think they ran that play in their backyard? Well, several, probably brother to brother there. <laughs> so at the Senator 26, or 27 actually spotted, so first and 10 for the Wolfpack here. On the Senator side of the 50, Bell out of the shotgun, snap will come, he'll turn, he'll hand it off to Stroud the ball carrier and he'll get uh, maybe a hard yard there as he's met by the Senator defense, J.G. Cruz leading the uh, charge there for West Washington as they'll spot it at the 27. Nash with, with the, just a, he kept the feet moving but there was absolutely nowhere for him to go. Second down and nine there at the 27 yard line. So Wolfpack uh, goes to the sideline, gets the play in, 242 to go here in the first quarter. Senators 27, Crawford County nothing here, but the I Wolfpack I, at the 27. I tell you what, if I'm Coach Bell, I keep trying to give him your son's hands, let him get yeah. wide and have him throw it away. If yeah. you throw it away, you can't get hit. Dump you, it you, out of bounds. Yeah. You can't take a sack. He'll drop back, oh, flag coming. Yeah. He'll take off with it now, try to run, gets the outside and steps out of bounds. At about the 21-yard line, but at legal shift going to yeah. be called. So that's going to bring it back. <laughs> there was a there was a couple shifts on that play. Yeah, they had a they could have called several different yeah. things there. Motion, 
There was, um, there was there was somebody who tuck one of our guys to the ground, which uh, kind of falls back. You know, if you're getting beat, you tell a guy to pull him down. But he he literally and figuratively pulled him down there. Yeah, too. and that's a shame because he had a good yeah. run out of it. He picked up about yeah. six or seven. I, I think Quentin Bell for a, for a sophomore there running for his life has done pretty. Hey, well. you know, last year as a freshman, I was impressed with him. He was he was their QB last year. So we'll set up here, and after the penalty, it's going to make it a, a second down and about 14, all the way back at the 32-yard line. Up at Charlestown right now, Charlestown 8, and Salem nothing on that scoreboard, next week's opponent. Um, and all those scores will be coming to you. We're still in the first quarter. Yeah. <laughs> I got one here, Brownstown 10, Silver Creek nothing in the there first quarter. That come from my buddy Tim Barksdale. Yeah. Tim, wishing Tim well. If he's listening to us, had a surgery this week. Yes, he did, and I hope he's doing well. Yeah. Speedy recovery. If he's for texting him. us, that's a good sign. We can't that wait, a Tim, good sign. to have you back here. If you're listening to us or watching us. Second down and 14 now. Bell out of the gun. T formation. Snap will come. It's a high one, but he pulls it down now. Evades a uh, senator defender, but he can't get away from JG Cruz. No. And finally, he gets hit and goes down there. Him and Zach Stice, uh, JG there, together on that hit, so no gain on the play. It'll be third and 14 at the 32-yard line. And the only thing, Bell, he's holding the ball out when he's running. Yeah, he, it, that kind of scares it, me. You, you have that, but I know that's kind of like where you're looking at Chuck it real quick. His his motion is to almost like just kind of, like I said, Johnny Menzel kind of like flip it. He's got a strong arm on him. He's not going to be coming back by his ear with the ball. I'll tell you, a lot of their problems is just the high snap. Yeah. I mean, he's having to yeah. pull it down and then – you know, try to make something out of it. And, sometimes and that's where, it's hard you know, do. the center Russ Payne there, um, one of my best friends from high school, is uh, he's out there. Actually, Russ may be – Russ is the tackle, so it's all right. We're all right there. Good. All right, here we go. So, third and 14, Bell out of the gun once again. He's got a receiver wide to each side. And he'll set up there, sets a man in motion. That's his brother, Aiden Bell. He'll set up now on the left side of the offense. Snap will come. He looks to throw. He got big pressure coming. They missed him in the backfield. He gets away from it, throws it, and it's incomplete as it goes over the head of the intended receiver there. Yeah, and Bubba, that's when you're they're bringing the house at you. You know, you can you can find a dink and dunk. Uh, unfortunately for him, the ball was just – there was just no chance for anybody to catch that one. Fourth and 14 now, so uh, not in any area where they could punt. So, they'll go for it here on fourth down. As that ball fell incomplete, Bell trying to get it out there to fish. Hey, if, I, if I'm the Wolfpack and I got a trick play, I try it right now. Well, why not? Why I mean, not? You're, you're down 27 they, to nothing. I know, I know they tried the fake punt there earlier. So, they'll set uh, fish out wide to the left and – uh, Aiden Bell here to the right. Snap will come out of the tee, and they fumble the balls on the ground, and he goes down to get it, and it's going to be yeah. dead right there at the 35-yard line. There's a player down for the Wolfpack right there. Looks like number so mine 69 is about there. Three yards, Caleb and that'll Tosh. be a turnover on downs, the second one of the night for the Wolfpack here in this first quarter. 27 to nothing, West Washington. They'll take over at their own 35. Still in the first quarter here with uh, 45 seconds to go. So Kent and Chase will bring the offense back out for West Washington. And lights are on the parking lot, so it's 7.30. It's actually 7.35. <laughs> Time for them to pop on. So it gets we'll a little darker as the year goes on. Yes, 40, it does. 4, 44. Seven. I'm sitting here as they are. They are. Um, they're trying to get every second they well, can. Well, they sure are. They, these guys are uh, on they're, top of it as far are. as that goes. So they'll uh, set the clock there at 40 seconds here at left in the first quarter. Yeah. First and ten, West Washington at their own 35. Play clock will start now, and here we go. Kenton Chase will break the huddle with the offense. Come to the line. They'll set up there. Snap on first down. They'll set a man in motion, and Crawford just steps over. They had a guy jump over yeah. south side. So. Sam Ryder right, right needs to know if you're going to go across, at least hit somebody. First and five now from the 40. So, actually, more time came off the clock there. I think we were, we were saying it was 48 or 40, so it's up being 4-0. So, they'll set up there at the 40 now. First down and five for the Senators. 
as they'll break the huddle, come to line. Hudson Crest in the backfield behind Kenton Chase here. Bunch formation there to the right. They'll set a man in motion in McCoy. Fake the handoff. Kenton will keep it, and he gets out of it and goes down after no gain on the play. Probably might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah. I don't know what all went there. There was just nothing right. Kenton's shaking his head like, what happened there? So no gain on the play as Crawford had a guy get through there. It is funny watching Kenton. It almost, it's like he's doing the NFL guys like holding his hands over his ears waiting for the, the uh, radio to work. We don't have radios in high school. Second down and five. Bunch formation to the far side. Now they'll take a snap. Kenton will keep it himself. He's got a seam. He goes down the sideline. Bell, the only guy to beat him. And he gets him out of bounds as he pushes him out at the Crawford County 37-yard line. So after one quarter of play, West Washington leads the Crawford County Wolfpack 27 to nothing. You're listening to West Washington live stream and simulcast on WWSR, the official home of West Washington Athletics. We all make choices. When it comes to alcohol, kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em, have a seat for a second. Remind me about that party again. Alex is just and adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. They want guidance and honest answers to their questions. And it makes a difference when the message is consistent and part of everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. All right, back here live to start the second quarter of action here at Art Sanders Field. Senators in control, 27 to nothing here on the board from that first quarter as Crawford uh, unable to get much going. They had the one big pass play is the only real positive play they've had all night long. And Senator offense back out there again in Crawford territory. They'll start this second quarter first and 10 at the Crawford County 37 yard line. So they'll break the huddle, come to the line. Kenton Chase will lead him up there. He'll go under center. Hudson Crest behind him in the backfield. Snap will come here. They set a man in motion and a jump off sides again by the defense. So it's going to be a, uh, another first and five. And definitely a lot of yellow flags tonight, and those have all hurt the uh, yeah. Wolfpack because they've given, I think, I've got, a, I've got written down a mine about 20 yards. of. Oh, yeah, they've had at least that much now down to the 32-yard line. First and five, Kenton. Back under center once again, wing in the backfield. He'll set Tyler motion up, and now he'll check to the sideline as they'll change the play call. Five seconds left on the play clock. Four, three. Kenton will have to hurry. He goes under one. center, and he, he doesn't off. get it off. Nope. Yep, so we give the five yards back, and yeah. they were setting up that play where yep. they throw to Titan, yep. and it just they didn't get it off. Kenton has to watch that play clock. So back to first and 10, back to the 37. <laughs> We're just back and forth. We, uh, we just, yeah. It's give up five or got five and now give it up here on uh, that second first down try. This will be the third third down or first down try. So It's like two two-year-olds in a pillow fight yeah. just going back at each other. Boom, Nobody's boom. winning here. So they move it back there to the 37, first and 10 wing formation. They'll set up. In the backfield, set a man in motion, and they'll turn, hand it off. Hudson Crest right up he the middle. He's going to go to the house. Nobody will catch him. Touchdown, Hudson. His third one of the game here tonight as he'll take it in from 37 yards out this time, and the Senators go up here 33 to nothing. Over the Wolfpack as they'll set up once again here too kick the point after as yeah. Hunt will come back in. You know, big play there, a kid, Zach Stice, who, Bubba, who had to come on and play line. 
You know, number went from 20. He's more 65. He's 57 now, I think, out there. Um, he's a kid. He was on the, He was right there running alongside Hudson, making those blocks up some gut. So they'll set up Hunt there as he'll attempt to point after. Jackson Cameron to hold. No, they fake they it. Get, they oh kick it all the way to wide open. He just overthrew it. That was, that to get was it so in butter. I knew, I knew when it was on. They tried to throw it to Miller, and it falls incomplete. Oh. So oh, our Hunt. score. Is, yeah, that one back. Yeah, he just threw it too hard there, so the pass incomplete, and it'll be 33 oh, to nothing. What, what, a, what, a, what a cool play. We'll take a break again and hear another word from one of our fine sponsors here. Senators lead it 33 to nothing over the Crawford County Wolfpack. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no-pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. All right, back here live, Eddie Gilstrap Motors, uh, our fine sponsor here. And want to remind you once again, Customer Appreciation Day is going on up there tomorrow. Big car show starts at about 11. Uh, there'll be a, a meal there. You can eat what you want, pay what you want. All those, the donations will go to Shop with a Cop. So um, that's a, a great thing. We do it every year and have done it for several years. And uh, the group at Eddie Gilstrap, Motor Steve Motzinger and his staff do a great job trying to support the community as they also support our program here tonight. And uh, so stop by there tomorrow if you're not doing anything. It's Old Settlers Days in town, so there'll be a lot of people around. You might even see Abe Lincoln walking around. I think I seen him last year. <laughs> thought, thought I was having a flashback. Yeah, so Hunt will kick off again. He'll kick it down the middle. It's picked up there by the up man in the second row as he'll bring it out to about the 40-yard line, and that's where Crawford will have their first possession in the second quarter. And that was Trout there. Yeah, Trout. Trout. He's a, you know, he's a fullback, so that's why he had the ability to come and bring it up there. Kind of like what Hunt did earlier when he got it on the opening kickoff yeah. there. You know, you've got you've got that right to do it because you, you, you're tough enough to play that spot. You can you're tough enough to take a whole team hitting you. Stroud's a big kid. I mean, he is. He's a um, the whole family. You know, the, the his sister Natalie is up at a is also at Hanover. Um, she was a great volleyball player and tracks. She's throw her up there to Hanover. Great family there. First and ten as Bell brings the offense back out here. Let's hope they can get a good snap because that really can move yeah. their offense. He'll spread it out here, first and ten. They'll hand it off, 23. The ball carry. He's got a seam up the middle. He breaks it. He oh, and he fumbled, though. He got through wow. and took it all the way down to the Senator, 42, and then fumbled the ball Jayden away. Messer there just yep. had daylight. Messer with the fumble. And nobody was Another really – Another turnover. I, I don't know that – Outside of that, he was going to get a huge game. Yeah, he would have been down to about the 30. And that probably. was his first carry of the night. Yeah, he, it was. He came out a couple years ago against our junior high team. He had a game for the ages. And, you know, he's got a quick first step. First and 10 now, Senators, after another turnover by Crawford. They'll take over at their own uh, 37. Kenton Chase back under center, takes a snap, rolls out, wants to throw, goes to the sideline. Nice short pass there. Tyler Miller with the grab. And he finally kicked out at about the 47-yard line. So, a gain of 10 on first down through the air. Kenton gets it out there to Miller. And dumping it to the tight end. We talk about We've that. We've talked all, about all that this. Week. And that's where Tyler Miller can make those catches. And he can – it just changes your offense. Because now you go up here, you can probably run it up the gut right here. First and 10. Yeah, it just opens he, up your uh, your run game here quite I, a it bit. It opens up the whole left side of the field, the wide yeah, side of the field. Wide side, yes. Yeah. So, Kenton will go under center. First and 10, new set of downs. He'll take the snap, rolls out. Right there. Now he picks it up, and he'll just take off with it. He's got wide open field. Good block downfield oh, there cut. as McCoy made the hit. And finally, Kenton slung out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Wow. That was a great run there with 11-17. He's going to put him inside the 20. Yeah, 27 is about where they spotted it. I think they were talking right there. There's a little uh, powwow over there. I don't know if they were. So, they haven't moved to change yet. No, they're going to have personal foul. Personal foul. Face, face mask. mask against, I, I, thought, I thought there was a possibility, and I don't know if he it was after the play or at the very end of it. It's 10, 20, about 25 yards on the pickup, and then the penalty comes in. 
So that's going to move it all the way, the 15-yarder, all the way down inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. Bubba, let's give our let's give our maintenance crew a big props, man. And this the field, field looks, looks great. They were out here. We were talking about today. Yeah. We stopped by. The robot was going. And First and 10 at the 14. As Kenton will go back under center here. Bunch formation to the far side. He'll take the snap, drops back, wants to throw, gets it out there. McCoy's got nice it. Nice catch made there by McCoy as he two. slides down at about the two-yard line. Looks like they're going to mark him maybe about the three. Yeah, they backed it up there. Yeah, but he's <laughs> about the three, so 11-yard pickup. I had to on watch the fire brigade of the guy. One guy figured out where it was at. They, so they McCoy gets 11 on the through the air on the reception. And that's and Grayson Zimmer first, right there. He yep. loves coming back to the ball. First and goal at the three. So they'll set up Hunt in the backfield now I'd at say fullback. Miller right here. Hunter Miller on this. Snap will come. They'll turn, pitch it wide. Oh, It'll go to McCoy, He's and he'll score. It. So Grayson with his first touchdown of the night. Makes it 39 as He takes nothing. it in from three yards out. And it's 39 to nothing here with uh, 10.40 to go in this first half of play as the Senators just all over the Wolfpack here. Crawford, you know, if they didn't turn the ball over, they'd be okay. Yeah, I mean, this score would be a lot closer. I mean, yeah. But it also goes, you look at the nature of some of those turnovers, Bubba. Yeah. There were some heck of a big hits. Oh, were, yeah, it's vicious that were, hits. That kind of caused those. So, Hunt will come back out. as his leg getting quite the workout here in <laughs> the first His arm got it half. last time, but this time he's going to hopefully kick it through. So he'll set <laughs> they've up stacked here. four guys. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to try to block it. Snap will yeah. come, holds down, kicks up, and that one not as high, but it goes through. So that's all that matters. So Senators ten, lead it 40 to nothing here. Go ahead, 40 coach. left, sorry, and we're going to be stepping aside for a quick commercial break. You're listening to West Washington Live Stream on WWSR, the official home of West Washington Athletics. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project, with the assistance of several local donors and sponsors along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation. We finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. All right, back here live, 40 to nothing. Senators on top of the Wolfpack hunt to kick off again. He squibs this one on the ground. Once again, picked up there by Stroud. He'll bring it up and finds the seam still on his feet as he gets low and finally tackled from behind up there at about the 45-yard line. So that'll be their best return of the night. Yeah, Trekker Suvac comes in along with Clark Nancy to make the tackle, and that ball was ripe for the pick, and I don't know if there was a lot of PBIS on that, PBS on that one. It's funny, Stroud, when he sees, feels contact, he kind of bends down. Yeah. He's a tall, big, tall kid. Yeah. He's, you know, he's probably 6'3". I tell you what, the way they met that uh, – they had with uh, Messer running the ball last time. Yeah, Messer come I out mean, there like a cannon. I he's mean, back I, there again I, in I the backfield. I think you try to give him a chance to run it here. Yeah, he's just got to hold on to the football. Yeah, right now you're you're not going to lose anything. No, they'll set up trip formation to the right. Snap will come here. Bell will take it on first down. It He'll him. pitch it to Messer, and he takes it on that yeah. side, follows his blockers well. Ball he's come out again, again, but I think he was wow. on the ground. Yeah. So he's up to about the 47 or so is and where they some started. Under, somewhere under there is Hunt, who's at the bottom of that dog pile. He's uh, finally picked up under there. Oh, oh no. Hunt is – I was worried about him being on the bottom of that pile. He is limping off the field. That is a big, big – could be a big loss for the centers there. He is down. Yeah, the pickup of three on the carry and officials time out here as – Gavin Hunt uh, goes down there with a leg injury. We'll take a quick break, step aside, and come back here for your 
Uh, rest of your second half here with 10.04 to go in the first half of play. It's West Washington 40, Crawford County nothing. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday, 9 to 6, and Saturday, 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. All right, back here live. It'll be second down and seven for the Wolfpack here. Hunt's able to get off the field under his own uh, help there. He's going to go over to the sideline there. It looks like he rolled an ankle. or Yeah, I think he rolled an ankle the way it looked there as he got up. But three-yard pickup there by uh, 23 on first down, so Messer with the carry. They'll set up T in the backfield. Bell detect the snap here on second down. Senators jumping. But they didn't wow. go over. They they got back. I'm gonna I'm gonna think that that sweet logo there because it just kind of hit. Snap them. comes. Bell take it, wings it out in the flat. Catches not, not made, made. Not made. Incomplete. That was almost a lateral. Yeah, it was very very close to being that. And I think that's what whoever was on that did the right thing and keep playing till that that whistle's blown. So it'll be third down and seven now. At the 48 for the Wolfpack as they're just trying to look for some kind of offense here. Yeah, you're trying to. They've And any time they found it, the, the immediate thing is you look at the big run by Messer, you look at that big throw, the bell-to-bell. -bell, um, those are those are plays if they could string something together, they could have a decent drive there. So they'll set up third down and seven, looking to move the chains here. Bell go out of the gun, trips formation to the far side. Snap will come. He'll keep it himself, looks to throw. He's got some time now. He's got pressure. He's got a lot of room to run. Gets away. He comes back over here to the left side and breaks a tackle and yeah. takes it all the way down inside the 35 to the 34, oh. and a flag comes in. I don't know if that's going to be on Rolando Brook over I there. I think maybe it is. Because it's going to be like him and 68 there, number uh, 68, Sam Reidner, were going at it on the field there. That may be a Bigger play for the Wolfpack. That's going to move him down another 10 yards. 15. All the way down to the 35 where he took that thing. Sportsmanlike against the Senators. Yep. So a 17-yard pickup on on that third down and seven. And the penalty now. 32-yard pickup thanks to the penalty. And they're going to move. Not a play that the Senators really want to see there going up 40 nothing here. No, absolutely not. So you that's going to move it all the way down to about the twenty. And the pack, you know, above the pack, they they don't they don't slouch. They run up to the ball. They yeah, they they don't they're, they're not quitting. That's for yeah. sure. They've uh, you know they've had some games where they've been blowed out, and that, no doubt. But the the kids keep playing hard. So Bell set up best field position of the night at the twenty. First and ten out of the gun. Messer back there with him in the backfield. He'll split two receivers wide to the far side as the snap will come here on first down. It does. Another high one. He'll turn, hand it off to Messer. He'll cut it back up the middle and take it down to about the 15. You know, and that's something that I, I spoke kind of candidly with somebody from the, you know, Crawford County community at a party I was at, and they were saying that, oh, well, we're only scoring our points against JV teams. All Look right. at their roster, I just told you. Yeah, they are JV <laughs> they team. They are a JV team. And they're like, well, we, we scored 14 points, and it was, I think it was South Dearborn they were playing. Yeah. And I, or South Decatur. And I was like, that's that's okay. You've got to find something. Oh, yeah, you've got to find the positives because they're young kids, no doubt. One senior, one junior on this uh, Crawford County team. So they'll set up second down and five at the 15 of West Washington. Bell will go out of the gun. Messer back there with him. Snap will come. It does. They'll turn, fake the handoff. Now throw it across the middle. Nice play as they right get it out there to Stroud. He's going to bring it down to the five. And he's down to the five-yard line. They'll spot him at about the six. So they're going to be looking for something here. Is uh... So he picks up nine yards on the reception. 
And that's that 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 play is the rhythm for Bell as a quarterback. What you want to see, most guys get a three one thousand, one thousand, two thousand, three one thousand. He gets about two. Well, they just fake <laughs> yes. that dive and wing yeah. it out there yeah. to Stroud. He was at set up at tight yeah. end. So now, timeout for the Wolfpack here. I think so. Yeah, they're they no they uh. No, maybe not. Looked like I they called I, him. I don't know if a player was ruled injured. Out. Maybe injured. that's Stroud. That was Stroud that went out. Yeah. I thought I saw Kent Chapman over there with uh, Wolfpack. I thought he was over there on their sideline tonight. Yeah, he is. 67, Damian Montgomery comes in for Stroud now as they'll set up first and goal. I, I think you go Messer right there. Oh, you Messer have to. Off, you go off tackle with him to the right side there. He's got, and they're going to have to call a timeout because they are. Yep. Timeout by the Wolfpack here with 7.58 to go in the first half. We'll stay here with you on this one. I did get a word from Tim Barksdale. He said he's feeling good at home. He, he said he's kind of sore, but uh, he sent me a bunch of scores. Charlestown 8, Salem nothing, Brownstown 10, Silver Creek nothing. We give them earlier. Providence 16, Corden nothing, North Harrison 21, Clarksville nothing. And now Charlestown up 16-7 to seven over Salem in the first quarter. Eastern Green nothing. Linton 22, so that game up No love lost north. up there between those two. Oh, no, those, those two do sure. not like each other. It's like, uh, and I, I think I think next week will be the Eastern Green North Central oh. battle. I think that 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 rivalry, and those are two uh, possible sectional opponents there. And uh, we'll see. Hey, if we go North Central, we'll get the wagons ready and we'll head up there. It takes us oh. a while to get up there. Uh, Mr. Akers and I have done that before. Thought I had another score, but no, it's Midwest Gas telling me my bill. <laughs> $12.66. So hey, I don't have much of a gas bill yet. I haven't turned yet. the heat um, on. Hey, you're going to be sitting here in a couple months, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll hope it's $12.66. Uh, yeah. And they've got another – there's another guy that had just uh, – maybe Stroud just came in they called the, the playoffs. Yeah, I think I think yeah. they uh, brought him, him back in. Well, they want Stroud to block for Messer. Sure they do. I think that's what they're going to do because it's going to go big body. It's going to go – First and goal now right. at the seven, so they'll set up Isaac Bell. Isaac Adams needs to find out where he's supposed to be because he is not in the right spot, and that's what Bell's moving him around. Yeah, Bell and Messer there. That's almost an illegal formation. Yeah. But they'll set up. They'll turn, hand it off Messer. He's going to get in there. gets the outside. Oh, there's the And flag. a flag, a hold comes yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah, against the Wolfpack. And that's a shame because Messer was able to score. Now, Bubba was the formation. I was I was more looking. Did they have too many men? Well, on? I think it was an unbalanced, unbalanced line, line. Okay. to to that right side yeah. where they ran Messer. It looked one, like one that, of those guys has to be off. He has to be off, and you know, in my opinion, uh, he was not off. Okay, it was, he was almost lined up like an extra tight end. So, yeah, I would have called that before the play ever got going there. It just looked like an illegal formation to me, but that's a referee's call. Yeah. And then we might – we're also looking at an angle there, you know, with the – there might have been somebody just off enough, you know, and you tell the – was it reminiscent of uh, the leather helmet days, which was never when you played? No, I mean, no, never. never. We didn't wear any when I played. That's how old I am. <laughs> at least you got to play. I didn't get to Officials play. Officials talking it over with the line judge down there. Oh, man, this is – our official tonight he's, wants to – he wants He to, is – the referee is, is all over. All about, he is ready so to now run. he'll set the game. Hey, play everybody's, everybody's hoping to get a good sectional. You know, they want to they want to get that. So, we got a lot of crews. And, once again, if you'd like to help out with officiating, I should say he's always hiring. So, so after that penalty, it'll take it uh, first and goal now back at the 14-yard line. Snap will come here. It does. Bell takes it. Fakes a handoff, throws the end brother. zone again, and he threw it out of bounds. You know, he, he threw complete. it over the wrong shoulder. If he throws it to the right, and it does open himself up there to uh, uh, Titan Williams, who was, you know, flailing back there, but he might have been able to get over Clark Nance there. Second goal at the 14 now after the incompletion. So a lot of activity there. Not much result for the Wolfpack. Man, that's a shame, too, because they scored, and then they had that holding penalty to bring them back. But uh, 40 to nothing here, West Washington on top here, 7.48 to go in this first half. Crawford County second down and goal at the 14 as Bell will set up there out of the gun. Snap will come. It does. He'll pitch it to Messer. Messer will take it outside. Now cuts it back up. Nice tackle there as the Senators come up, uh, Tyler Miller. 
Actually, nope, Grayson that McCoy. was actually Grayson. Grayson McCoy on the tackle inside the 10 at about the eight yard line. So a gain of six on the play. Messer must have been in Coach's doghouse that first couple series. He there, must cause have because he's getting the rock he's now. He's getting the rock now. And I mean, he's, I mean, first off, if you're Coach Tony Bell, you better watch tape against us and know that we you can throw a big barreling guy up the middle on us. It could cause some problems. You yeah, go with that. I know absolutely. Messer's not that big, but he's got a positive yardage. On yes, he play. sure has. He sure has. So they'll set up now third and goal at the eight. And now it looks like the Wolfpack are Time out again. One. Wow. For Crawford here with the 705 to go in this first half. They it, love our sponsors. And speaking of our sponsors, we're going to head to a quick commercial break. You're listening to West Washington Live Stream. Simulcast on WWSR. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for kids, teens, or young adults. It's just not. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals and volatile organic compounds into your body. And nicotine, the same highly addictive substance found in regular cigarettes. Nicotine can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s. Affecting learning, memory, attention, and impulse control, and priming the brain for other addictions. Vaping products also come in kid-friendly flavors that can make them appealing to youth. And many kids also use other drugs, like marijuana, in vaping devices. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping, because when you talk, they hear you. Back here live after the Crawford County timeout. Third and goal from about the eight as they'll set Messer in motion this time. Bell. Maybe a bubble they'll set up there Yeah, uh, they'll set up uh, trips to the far side. Snap will come. They look. Bell drop back, right wants to throw. He goes across the middle. It's yep. And nope, couldn't hang on to it. Tried to get it to Stroud again. I tell you, you run that play again, and you yeah. got Messer right there on the, yeah, he was like, open. On the flag route. He's going to be all right. Uh, score, I don't know if you mentioned this, Bubba, earlier. I was writing some stuff down. Uh, Springs Valley 8, Perry Central 0. Did you mention no, that No, I did not okay. mention that one. So that was a tight game there. That's in the second quarter already. So Fourth and goal now from the 8 for the Wolfpack as they'll try to put their first points of the night on the board here with 6.58 to go, 40 to nothing, West Washington. And the Wolfpack finish their season next week against Clarksville, a team that they might – yeah, they could. could. Could very well play well against them. Play clock down to 3-2. They get it off. The snap comes. Bell's got pressure coming from behind. He gets hit. Oh, and interception. interception. Picked off there by the Senators down the sideline. Side Tyler Miller's and got Tyler a whole head Miller, of steam. There is nobody going to get him. He go to the house as he takes it all the way yards down for a the touchdown. touchdown. Senators. Wow. As he takes it after the nice hit from behind. Knocked that ball loose. And Miller able to uh, take it on the interception for the touchdown. On that, where can we replay that one there? Yeah, because that one is a that is a play if I've ever seen one. He had the sidelines, and I was like hoping, please don't step out of bounds. Please so don't step out of bounds. Pick six for Miller as he takes it. Ninety. Tyler Miller with it. two yards. Two yards. Yeah, about the yards. seven. So that was quite the uh, play there, but the, the, I didn't see who made the hit, but they come in behind yeah. Bell and kind of hit that ball, and it uh, bounced away, and uh, Miller right there in the right place at the right time, he takes that thing to the house. 95 yards yeah, are saying now I, I, on that on What return. is the school record for that? That's got to be 99. 99, 99 yards is what we've got. <laughs> Up here saying that. So uh, we're, we're going with Todd Combs. Yeah, we're going with Todd. Delay a game, Senators on yep. the point after. Here. So they'll back it up wow. here five yards on the point after attempt. They're giving Miller a chance to catch his breath. <laughs> yeah. Well, Hunt's out is the problem. That's your kicker's out. So now you're going for yeah, two. Yeah, got to go for two. Two, yeah. unless you, you know, and also, you know, we'll probably see somebody else try to get a chance to kick. Tonight, I'm on a bet because you have to if Hunt's not good to go as a season because I'm seeing him getting fitted for crutches. 
Yep, not a good sign there. So anyway, Senators all over the Wolfpack here, up 46 to nothing here, chance to tack on a couple more. Snap will come here on the extra point try. They'll pitch it wide. It'll go to McCoy, he's gonna and in. he's going to get it in. I say so he walks 48 in and gets to thrown nothing. in the end zone there. So 48 nothing here with 641 left. Senators all over the Wolfpack. As they, Wolfpack drove all the way down to the five there, Bubba, yep. before – Sure did. Had it at the eight. The interception occurred at the five. There's, there's Miller been, taking it to the house. There's been two solid drives for the Wolfpack, and then there's been several that have just been a house of horrors for them. Yeah, it's it's been tough. So, anyway, the Senators on top here, 48 to nothing, 641 yet to go here in this first half of play. And Sen Senator, Senator's playing a lot of uh, – Tonight, 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 the centers are playing a lot of defense. More oh, yeah. Offenses. Well, and that last yeah. series yeah. is the only series they've had very many plays. You know, they they ran, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. Eleven plays to get it down to the eight-yard line. Drive started at the It looks like Trekker Subak is going to be the defensive. Yeah, Trekker kick. uh, kicks it in the JV game. Okay. So. He'll set up to kick off here. You know, and Trekker's a great kid because he likes to go down and hit people anyway. Oh, so. yeah, he's great on these kickoffs. you got to watch him. He knows where the ball's going. Hey, I was refing the uh, <laughs> JV game the other night, and he about ran over me on a kickoff. As uh, <laughs> You didn't have to. Well, I was standing on this sideline. I was the umpire. And, uh -huh. and uh, anyway, I always stand at about the 35 in the JV games. It's, on the varsity game, you're about the 20 because the kickers are better. But anyway. Nice wobbler. Yep, kicks it up there. Field by Adams. 45. Adams, he'll bring it out of the pack, get hit, and go down at about the 42-yard line. But anyway, Trekker come bowling down through there and just about took me out. <laughs> and if he'd have hit me, I'd have probably still been laying down there seven, six days later. <laughs> or four days later, I guess I should say. So. Hey, those JV games can get scary. I once had two officials go down in one game. Oh, it and can we, happen. We finished with – is there? I think it's – is it a four-man crew, am I right, for JV? Yeah, for JV. So, we had two-man crew left, and we told them, we said, we're going to do our best to just get out of here. First and ten for the Wolfpack at their own 42-yard line. So, they've gotten to run a lot of Zell offensive plays tonight. Here. They just not run a lot of them to uh, – Ooh, 24 to 14 at the half. Charlestown Ooh. up on Salem. Close game there. Lions playing a lot better. They'll hand it off. And that's going to be a good Messer game. It always again. is. I'm telling you, next week yeah. is going to be a dog fight. We got a little bit of a change in the broadcast crew. We'll talk about for next week. Uh, got some, got some, some, you know, trying to help out some of the youth here of the community, giving a, a thing. So we got a, got a cool little broadcast coming up that Mr. Akers has set up, and really shows that uh, you know we can branch out and. Uh, I won't get to be on it. I'll be down here helping out doing some supervision because we got a lot of people gone because it's fall break. Yeah, it is fall yeah. break. Yeah, so I'm going to spend mine in Salem, as same as you here yeah, in Washington yeah. County. And Second down eight now after a two-yard pickup there by Messer. So we'll pack and break the huddle, come to the line. He's got trips to the – oh, they're going to move Bell over here. They do a lot of yep. it. Okay. Now they go back to the T formation. Snap will come here to Bell. It does. He drops back, wants to throw. Got a man open yep. in the flat. Catch is made right there, and that's his brother that made the catch, yeah. Aiden Bell. There's some – they've got to get creative, but Bubba, they can move the ball. Yeah, he's you know. up to the 47-yard line, so a couple-yard pickup. Bell to Bell, no pun intended. That's how we want people to teach, Bell to Bell. It's all Bell good. to Bell, that's, that's right. So to bring up a third down and about six now for the Wolfpack. At the 47-yard line, their own 47. Will that be for whom the bell tolls? <laughs> 5.07 to go as the clock continues to run here. 48 to nothing, our score. West Washington on top. Crawford with the ball as Bell will set up in the shotgun to take the snap here on third down. He'll hand it off. It'll go to Messer, and he'll try this left side and doesn't get anywhere as he gets hit and goes down right away. Tyler Miller there along with Houchin, uh, several of the Senators, Grayson McCoy up two to make the hit. So no gain on the play. It'll be fourth down and about five now for the Wolfpack at the 47. I see I see Clark Nance going over some signals with Coach Bowsman there on the sidelines. So he might be going in to 
for this next series. Possibly, yeah, him and Holden Russell both yeah, there. Yeah, going over some plays there is there. All right, they'll set up here, fourth down. Bell out of the gun, snap will come. He wings it out there in the flat. Catch is made be. by his brother, is, and yep. he got a first down as he's able to pick up the yardage all the way down to the Senator 45. So a nice little catch and run there, bell to bell again for a first down. Ringing the bell there as they go to the sidelines. At the 45 yard line, so a gain of seven on that reception. And it's first and 10 Wolfpack in Senator territory at the West Washington 45 yard line, 345 to go here in this first half. It must be play. getting chilly outside, Bubba. See these yeah, it's gotten real chilly. I wore shorts today. and I, I did too. I still parked, got them on. I'm first and 10. Four, I'm parked 40 feet from this. <laughs> Bell roll back, looks to throw, got pressure, now just runs it yeah, out of bounds Zach and loses. Tussie forces him out along with uh, and Loses about six yards on that. Well, that's where you. That's where also you try to just dump it so you don't lose. He should have threw it out of bounds. Yeah, you, you've got I'm sure his somebody. dad's over there telling him yeah, that. Yeah, you do that. And Second and sixteen. Now you don't run it out of bounds. Just no. wing it out there, yep. out of bounds over somebody's head. But that's that, once again, that's a sophomore. Oh yeah, he's who, young. Who's been playing, running for his life in front of a in front of an offensive line that doesn't even have their learner's permit yet. All right, so they'll set up here. Second down and 16 for the Wolfpack. Snap will come, Bell out of the gun. He'll take it, pitch it, goes to Messer. He'll bring it here to the left and he'll get hit and go down. After he got the six yards they lost on first down Cameron back. Cameron and Armstrong on the tackle there after they get back to, like you said, the original line of scrimmage. And that's where, you know, your your defense, you're, you're kind of not, tonight Bubba, something we've seen. We're not playing back. We're, we're, we're moving forward, and I want to see that out of the next few weeks. I want to see us going in and attacking the ball as they've, they've rotated some guys in here. Right, for third us. and ten now. From the 45, the original line of scrimmage there, as they'll set up, they'll put two receivers wide to the far side, tied in on the right side as well. Snap will come to Bell. Oh, and they take off. Uh, we, yeah. we jumped off sides, but they, they, they. – no, Stroud moved. Stroud must have heard that there was free food tomorrow at a gill strap, and he was, like, just excited. Oh, they called it on the defense. How can that be? I don't know how it could be either. Maybe we go first. Well, yeah, but he didn't have anybody over him. Yeah. You know, usually you don't don't get that call, but so it'll be uh, third and five now at And Wolfpack got a hole here, which is what's crazy. They they were – maybe they had a play in the can there that way. Penalty on the Senators for offsides. Third down and five now at the 40. Trying to get consecutive first downs, I think, for the first time tonight. Two receivers wide to the far side and one here to the near. Snap will come back there to Bell. He looks, wants to throw. He rolls out. Now he's got a guy open in the flat. Nice throw. That's Hits Bell his brother again. again as he takes the reception at about the 20 and takes it in to about the uh, 16 or 17. So... He's he's been moving and shaking for the pack, and he's trying to dink and dunk where he can. Uh, 144, he's got him inside the red zone. A spot it at the 17, so a pickup there of 13 yards on the reception. So first and 10, Wolfpack. As they'll set up here, twin receivers here to the near side, one to the far here, as Bell go out of the gun here on first down. Wolfpack get it to start the second half, so if they can get a score here, they – Snap comes. He's going to wing it. Goes across the middle. Had a man there. Touchdown. Oh, he got it in. That's Bell. Got it to Bell. So, he gets it to his brother. They do. So, and 14 yards out. Nice pass there underneath the coverage and goes right to him and makes the play. So, so there we TD go. for the Wolfpack, 48-6. Yes. And that center defense has been out there on a long time because of these turnovers. There's been a long. One thirteen to go as the Wolfpack gets on the board here in the first half as they'll set up for the point after. Looks like they're going to go for two naturally, no kicker. So Bell will take it out of the gun. They'll snap the ball here. 
set the play clock there set up. Yep. And Bell ready to receive the snap. It'll come. He takes it, turns, hands it off. Messer, the ball carrier. Try to keep his and he ain't going to get in. They're going to get him down. No. So the Senators stop him on the two-point run. So it's 48-6 to six here with 1.13 to go. We'll step away real quick, hear a word from a sponsor, and we'll be back here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. All right, back here live, Art Sanders Field, 48 to six as the Wolfpack gets a touchdown there on the 14 yard reception from Quentin Bell to Aiden Bell. Two point conversion run was no good. So our score 48 to six here, 113 to go in the first half. Scottsburg up 12 to nothing over Eastern in the first half. And that Salem score was tight. I'm telling you, we're watching that one because that's our opponent next week. And uh, Senators are going to have to play. That should be quite a showdown here at Art Sanders Field. So they'll line up to kick it off. Stroud to do the kicking duties as he'll kick it into play. A high kick. That ball's live ball. Down there Morrow to about it. the 30. Morrow picks it up, brings it out of the pack there. And gets it up to about the 37-yard uh, line. So 37-yard line, first and 10, West Washington. And we haven't had the ball offensively. We've only run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plays here in the uh, second quarter. But we had a defensive score when uh, Tyler Miller picked it off and went 95 yards to the house for a pick six. And it's first and 10 Senators here from their own 37. That'll be Clark Nance back there, yes. Yep, Nance will come in at quarterback as they'll set up here. Sets a man in motion, turns, hands it off. Full back in the middle, just a full back dive there. That was Morrow, was it not? No, 44. No, 44, that's a uh, uh, Jameson. Fresh and Jameson. Yep, Jameson with about a four yard pickup. He gains four on first down. Second down and six for the Senators at the 42. And 34 seconds left here in the half. I'd say probably a dive again we talked about. is uh... Nance will go under center to take the snap. Collier behind him sets a man in motion. McCoy, they'll pitch it wide to him. He'll take it down the sideline. He's got a big seam. Gets it all the way down to about the 30-yard uh, line or so, 35, where he steps out of bounds, actually about the 34. So pick up 10, 20, 26 yards on the run there by McCoy. First and 10. Clock down to seven seconds. I'll probably just let it run out here. And that'll be the end of the first half here from Camelsburg here at Art Sanders Field. Senators lead at 48 to 6 over the Wolfpack. And we'll take a long extended break, have our halftime activities here. I'll try to add up some stats, and we'll be back here with you on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-26. 
That's 812-849-2670. In 2012, the Washington County Community Foundation began working on its next big initiative, Education Matters. The goal of Education Matters is to increase the educational attainment of adults residing in our county. The initial focus has centered on adults with some college and no degree. With the assistance of scholarships and a peer mentoring program, the foundation began helping adults return to college to complete their degree or obtain a certification in 2013. Realizing that strength lies in numbers, Washington County partnered with Clark, Floyd, Harrison, and Scott Counties to create Education Matters Southern Indiana. This initiative continues to build. United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-227. 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. Lynx Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. We all make choices. When it comes to alcohol, kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. You have fun. Hey, Em, have a seat for a second. Remind me about that party again. Alex is just and fine. adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. 
Kids want to know our expectations when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. They want guidance and honest answers to their questions. And it makes a difference when the message is consistent and part of everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samhsa.gov. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. United Producers, Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Batt at 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for kids, teens, or young adults. It's just not. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs. And dangerous things like metals and volatile organic compounds into your body. And nicotine, the same highly addictive substance found in regular cigarettes. Nicotine can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s. Affecting learning, memory, attention, and impulse control and priming the brain for other addictions. Vaping products also come in kid-friendly flavors that can make them appealing to youth. And many kids also use other drugs, like marijuana and vaping devices. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping, because when you talk, they hear you. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. 
For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. call this the Commissioner's Corner. Commissioner, busy time as always. We uh, tournament-wise, you know, girls golf wrapped up this past weekend. Carmel with the team championship. Samantha Brown from Westfield, the the medalist. Uh, you got tennis getting ready to start. Cross country getting ready to start. Soccer, volleyball, all on the horizon. Plus the pairing show for football coming up coming up Saturday. Uh, it's an understatement to say it. I'll say it anyway. You're very busy uh, around the state. Member in. Institutions and at the IHSAA office right now. Yeah, and you know it's, and we like to say it's it's a good thing. <laughs> we we like being busy, but you know when when we're busy, it means kids have an opportunity to participate. Sure. And, you know, coach, I was out of golf this past weekend, and I mean, we had two just gorgeous days of golf. Again, the level of our athletes, the level that they participate at, it, it's just incredible. You know, I was I was sitting on the 18th fairway coming into the green, and I watched four girls, group after group after group, all hit tee shots or um, approach shots like I only dream about. <laughs> you know, they, they yeah. were sticking that green within the right. – they were all had 30 putts. And, you know, I'm sitting there saying, why can't I do that? And But those girls played incredible. And Samantha Brown didn't uh, – you know, she tried to win this thing for several years, and Saturday was finally her day as a senior to win a state championship. And obviously Carmel did great. But, yeah, we're rolling. Right now, you are rolling, and, and you, you mentioned you know the the skill level of the ladies. It's not it, it's every sport. I mean, yeah, I've done this show for a while, been involved with Indiana Sports Talk for a while, and I've been around it. I'm just amazed at how much better kids seem to be getting, literally, on a year to year basis, and you know, in large part because of the great coaches we have around our state. It is, it is, and it's coaches that um, you know they 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 don't take from kids they give the kids and when they give the kids they they challenge them to be better people they challenge them to do great things they challenge them to be incredible students in the classroom and, and i often talk about those lessons that they get to put in their toolbox for the rest of their life and that's what our coaches are doing for these kids and and when they're in an education-based system sure we can train skill but coaches in an education-based system train the person too and and again they they find a, a way to challenge these kids to do things they didn't think they could do and that's why we have such incredible athletes in this state all right sunday paul condry and i will be there you've always been gracious host we have the pairing show it's a huge night for everyone around the state and we are excited about the opportunity clearly but i think more than anything it's just that it's time to play for championships and people will now know after this weekend what that last week of regular season is about and what the tournament is going to be about and uh, the ihsatv.org network uh, the champions radio network has become an amazing force, Paul, and I congratulate all of you, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Well, I appreciate that, Coach, and it is. It's it's been a, a vision that started many, many years ago, to be frank. You know, and, and the origins of Indiana Sport Talk showed us that 
talking about high school sports on a on the statewide <laughs> platform means something. And, and right. so, right. you know, Coach, you, you they tune in. I was with somebody this past weekend, and they were telling me how much they love listening to sports talk on Friday and Saturday night. And uh, just, just a sports fan, you know, they just love what high school sports right. do. And, right. and you have a vehicle for that. And so we've just tried to expand that. You know, IHSA TV this year is uh, we're, we're going solo this year. You know, we're going to broadcast as many sectional and regional contests for free. That was a can, as we have broadcasters for. And then there will be a, a ticket that the same. You can watch the three semi-state and the state finals on the IHSATV.org. The, the great thing about it is the cost to watch it online is no more expensive than the cost to buy a ticket to go to the event. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we're, we're going to do that solo this year, through, all through IHSATV.org. And I think we're going to have a great product for fans to be able to watch across this state. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Uh, and uh, Tyler Miller had one carry for three yards. Passing Kenton was three of three for 44 yards and um, one uh, no touchdowns there. But we did have Tyler Miller with the touchdown on the pick six as he took it 95 yards for the score. Crawford County, uh, Bell has eight carries for 20 yards. Uh, 23 Messer has uh, eight carries for 24 yards, 88 Stroud. Two carries for three yards. Bell was five of 12 uh, passing, but 70 yards. uh, So most of their yardage coming through the air and one touchdown pass. So the Senators racking up a lot of yardage in this uh, first half of play here as we get ready for the third quarter. And it looks like that temperature's dropped about 15 degrees. Yeah, it's it's gotten a lot cooler outside. So West Washington will kick off to Crawford as we get ready to start this uh, third quarter play in the second half. Trekker Suvac back out there to kick it off as uh, Gavin Hunt went down there with an injury, and uh, hopefully uh, he'll be okay, but Trekker will put it back into play as the kick is uh, line driving. Stroud can't field it, and it bounces to the second line as it's picked up there by Bell, number eight, Aiden Bell, and he'll go down at about the 30-yard line. 
He's lucky to hold on to that one, Bubba. Yeah, he got got pummeled there at the 30, so it'll be first and 10 there for the Wolfpack. And that's where they'll set up here. So that'll be uh, the pack are going to start deep there in their own area. But I tell you what, it's all about ball control here in the second half for them. They need to just find as the clock will be moving, they just need to find a way to control the ball. Yep, here they go. So they'll break the huddle, come to the line, first and 10. From their own 30 here as Quentin Bell will go back in the shotgun. Two receivers here to the near side. Snap will come on first down. It does. He'll turn, hand it off as it goes there again. Another nice run to the outside as it's taken there by 23. Messer as he takes it out to about the 35. And he is a little slow to get up and still on the ground here. So a timeout. They're going to stop the clock. Here as he goes down with an injury, Grayson McCoy up to make that tackle. Um, but uh, hopefully Messer not hurt too yeah, bad for the Wolfpack. Great young player. You don't want to see get hurt there. Picked up six yards too on that carry. So second down and four as they took the ball up to the 36-yard line. And we'll see uh, yeah. what Messer's injury is like. We've had several injuries tonight. So to get to this Jamar Chase trade rumors. Yeah, go ahead. All I'm finding on Twitter is a meme of a cat sitting there typing on a on a computer, and it says these people, me trying to find out the truth about the Jamar Chase trade. Uh, so it may be rumor? It may be rumors. There's a lot of uh, who knows. I don't know. I don't know why Jamar Chase, he's due for a big payday, so they're trying to figure yeah, that out. Yeah, maybe what it is. What What's the deal on the Colts? Um, Running back, is he coming back? I heard is that he, I heard Jonathan Taylor could be back this week. I, I heard that he might play this I, week. Uh, I tell you, it's for him, it's trying to get a payday. If you can, you know, you get a good payday, if you can come back and you're healthy and do that, that's a, that's a big thing for him. He can turn around and uh, kind of change his season there. Uh, who the Hoosiers got tomorrow? Hoosiers, it doesn't really matter. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, let's look. And, folks, I'm about as diehard a Hoosier fan as you'll find. but I, 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 I don't know. Every week I see you trying to give away your tickets I, on I'm Facebook. I'm so frustrated with that. I've been a season ticket holder for years, and I just, you know, it really doesn't matter. They could be playing in my backyard, and I probably wouldn't watch it. I'm just – I'm so tired of watching them. Um, you know, I hope the uh, change that they made with the offensive coordinator will help them. Oh, but. oh. Uh, IU plays Michigan this week. So oh, yes, they, never mind. They are Doesn't off. Matter. They're off this week. They're off. Yeah, they're going to be off, all right. Uh, they will not be playing this week. Uh, the the, the Wii fence will be in full mode there for uh, Jim Harbaugh and uh, the fighting Boshin Blickers there. Yep. That will not be good. It'll be it'll be uh, interesting as they go. And Their only hope with that one is the bus breaks down on the way over uh, to the stadium. You know, that – or hopefully Eastern Michigan shows up to play instead yeah. of Michigan. You know, I hate to say that because I'm a, I'm a fan regardless, and I'll own it. And I have been. That for wind years. is look at cooking. the wind now. Look at that wind whipping. cooking as the Crawford County Chillers have taken cover. They are yeah second or yeah second down and four now after that game. Messer uh, walked off on his own power, so that was a good sign. Bell will go back to work out of the shotgun. Here's he'll set up on second and four. Snap will come here. It does. He looks to throw, and now he tucks it down. He's going to get hit and go down. He'll get sacked in the backfield there. Several uh, senators after him. J.G. Cruz leading the charge there along with Rolando Brookover. That is Rolando. was rolling I was trying to look at the weather for next week here, Bubba. It might be – I thought it was going to be cold and rainy is what it looked like a possibility next week here um, for our game. So. Well, let's hope not. Well, yeah, it's – yeah, it'll be nice in here regardless. Yeah, I picked the wrong week to be down. The, uh. So a loss of about four yards back to the 32-yard uh, line where they'll have it here, third down and about six. Snap will come, Bell will roll towards the right and pick up good yardage. Got a first down out of it before he's pushed out of bounds all the way up at about the 44-yard line. Next Friday night, a high of uh, it'll be at kickoff will be 62 degrees with a 40% chance of rain. 
Well, I don't mind the 62. That's not that's now, football. It looks like the it looks like the football gods will be shining down on us because between eight and ten it's supposed to stop raining, but the high is going to be 56 degrees. Oh well, yeah, that's going to be a little, a little good pneumonia. Little nip in the a little, air. A little good pneumonia weather there. Sideline warning against the Wolfpack, but that uh, that's just their first warning. So, it'll be first and ten as they picked up 12 yards on the carry as they set up first and 10 there at the 44-yard line of Crawford County. So Bell will go back to work, a new set of downs here as he'll set up out of shotgun here with the snap to come on first down. He'll set his line, snap will come. It's a low one. He picks it up, though, gets to the outside. Rolando chasing him again. He's able but to get they a, were able to get across yeah. the line. He fell forward and got a gain out of it. I think Rolo got him by the shoestrings and finally able to pull him down. So about a three-yard pickup, bring up second down and seven at the 46-yard line, or actually 47-yard line. So second down and seven now for the Wolfpack. As I've seen some. Some of our cheerleaders just lost their the wind uh, is a whipping. whipping yeah, <laughs> directly so back. Big third down here for the Wolf Pack. They'll set up. It'll be hand off to the other Bell. They'll snap it off to Bell, and he'll take it up the center to about the 49-yard line. Another two-yard pickup there. We have a random piece of yellow. Caution tape right there yeah, at the center Sam logo. Yeah, I kept thinking down. it. I kept thinking it was a, a flag for a second. Yeah, I thought that too when I first saw it. But third down for the Wolf Pack here, as it's about third and five at the 49. Not good conditions for uh, Quinn Bell having no, to try to throw the ball. It's going to be hard to throw it, and that's where and they had the most success in the first half. And he's without his running back that you know, yeah. he really needs. So those put uh, two receivers here to the near side. Snap will come out of the shotgun. It does. He'll turn. He fumbles it, and he has to get down on it. So, fumble in the backfield as Bell falls down on the ball. That is Messer back in. I saw Caden Messer. He's back in there for him. So, that's a good sign. 23, he's back in the game. Fourth down now, and after he loses about uh, two yards on that, back to the 46, actually about a three-yard loss. So, it'll be fourth down and about eight now for the – Wolfpack. Still have not. It looks like Holden Russell's getting some reps in. He might be coming in mm -hmm. at quarterback there. I think they'll slowly work everybody in by the fourth yeah. quarter here. So we'll set up here. Twins here to the near. One receiver to the far side. Snap will come here on fourth down. He drops back, wants to throw. He's got, got room plenty of room to the outside. Abbey now he'll back up. He's getting space. chased all over the oh, place. Yeah. As he'll try to get the outside, Rolando after him, but he can't get to him, throws it downfield and almost caught. Nice yeah. play there. Bell ran all over the field, but just couldn't get anything going or find an open receiver. So it will fall incomplete and a turnover on downs for the Senators as they'll take over in good field position at the Crawford County 46. Bell was running like a pretty girl for her life in a – horror movie there and almost came up big as he throws it deep and the ball gets just like batted right away at the last second here. Lots Holden, of subs in there for the Holden Russell in in the backfield <laughs> along with uh, Jameson Collier. Uh, is that and Griffith there? I think it may have been but they'll turn hand it off to Collier. He'll take it on the left hand side and pick up a couple hard yards across the 45 to the 44 yard line. So two yard pickup there by Jameson. Second down and eight now for the Senators. Here, 5 10 to go in this third quarter. Senators 48, Crawford County six here. Most a lot of the uh, subs in here at this point in the game for West Washington. So they'll set up now. Eye in the backfield. As Russell will go under center, he takes it, pitches it on the option, Griffith gets there. it away. Griffith, the ball carrier, and he's got some speed, boy. He takes yeah. it down the sideline. You know, Jayden. Bubba, he played in junior high in the seventh grade. He was the quarterback. Yeah, he takes and it down for a first down all the way down to the 31-yard line. 
I don't know what the cheerleaders are throwing, but I keep thinking we're going to get hit with something up here. It's tractors. Tractors. They're throwing squeezy tractors. Squeaky okay. toys. Wow. First and ten at the 31 now for the Senators. As yeah, we've set had it up here. Griffith in the backfield behind Collier as Russell Looks goes like under center in a timeout, maybe? Officials timeout. Uh, officials timeout number 45 there. Adams had an equipment issue. I think his shoe or the spat that he had on came off. So Yeah, looks one like they're one of his players are going to tie it for him. Yep, all right. And they'll break up the uh, – Fix now, so Russell will go under center. New set of downs. He'll take it on first down. Fakes a handoff ball. Actually bounces back to him. He got pressure. Yep. Big number 68 coming through there. Sam Reidner. Sam Reidner with the sack in the backfield. A loss of about uh, three yards on that one. So Russell with his first carry loses three. It'll be second down and about – well, actually lost about four or 14 now back at the 36-yard line. Actually lost five. <laughs> five they keep yeah. going backwards. They keep going backwards. And Second 15 now. So, Russell, high in the backfield. Collier along with uh, Griffith there. And they'll hand it off to Collier just a straight dive. He'll pick up about two or three yards. Yeah, and it's – one of those things you might see is a lot of dives and a lot of pitches here. Third and 12 now as he takes it down inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. I see that Hunt's got a boot on, on top of the crutches now over there. Uh, that's not good. That's Third not good. and 12. That is his kicking foot too. Lot yeah. Of <laughs> not, the, not that one. <coughs> Third and 12 now as – Russell will take the snap. He's got pressure from behind, gets it away, gets it out to Collier in the flat. Nice catch made, and Collier takes it down and jumps over a Crawford County player, lands on his head there. So hopefully James did all right as he goes down. So nice throw by Russell as he gets it out there to Collier, and that's going to be good. Be no, they say he stepped the, yeah, out of bounds. Yeah, out right there, right before. At about the 22-yard line. So, so a gain of 11. Fourth down here. And, unfortunately, you can't go to Collier on the on the. Yeah, fourth one. and one now. I try. And then, and then you go who's your uh, next string back after him, trying to find somebody if you need to just run a dive here. They better hurry because the play clock is down, is to, down nine. to nine. Coach. Lowry might have break the huddle real quick here. Oh, they may get it out. off. Russell go under center to take the snap. He does, turns, hands it off. Collier. Hey, he and he got, he got it. it. He got it easily. He took it down to about the 17. So a nice run there of five yards by Collier. First and 10 for the Senators at the 17-yard line. Where they'll set up there with a new set of downs here. 105 to go in the third quarter, running clock here in this second half. So it's moved pretty quick here in the third. Russell will line up now. He'll go under center to take the snap here. He does, turns, pitches it, goes to Griffith. And Griffith cuts it back up the middle. Looks like he was down. He lost yeah, the football. Yeah, he lost it. He was down. He, had a, he got like a bear hug around the neck, and yeah. I think that's what did it. Gets it down to the 15-yard line. So, second down and eight. Damian Montgomery there for the pack, grabbing his elbow. He was the one who kind of came with that bear hug around the head. That's why you don't try to tackle somebody around their head. Mm -hmm. Got to get low, that's for sure. So, second down and eight. Russell goes under center to take the snap, does, turns, hands it off to Collier. He just dives forward inside the 15, down to about the 13-yard line. So That's going to end this hard third quarter. No scores. It'll remain 48 to six, West Washington, over the Crawford County Wolfpack. Yep. So that's the end of the third. We'll take a break. Hear a word from the sponsor. Come back with the fourth and final quarter here. Senators 48, Wolfpack six. High school football fans, welcome back to Friday night. To pure spirits, to pure sport, 
Welcome back to high school football. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is Friday night. This is Indiana high school football. This is your IHSAA. This is your IHSAA. This is your state. This is your high school. This is your athletic association. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and we're here to make sure that all of this remains yours. This is your state. This is your community. This is your IHSAA. All right, back here live as we start the fourth quarter. 48 to six, our score once again. Senators with a third down and six at their own 13 yard line. As they'll set up here. Eye in the backfield. There. Yep. Collier uh, with Griffith behind him. I mean, as it, Russell goes it, under center. Andrew runs a quick end. He's got it all day. He'll roll out, wants to throw. He's got pressure. He gets it away, though. Got a man That's open. Catch Wallace. is made. Wallace makes a grab. He's in Touchdown. there. Touchdown. Nice throw there by Russell as he gets it out to him. So that's where we score. said they wanted to go, Bubba, and it wound up working just right for us. So Wallace gets the touchdown. 13-yard reception for the TD, and it's 54-6 to here with 11.52 to go in the ball game. So they'll bring in the – Do we have a JV kicker? I see Sears out there. Yeah, he's I don't asking, know. He must he, be going to be try one. He anyway. was asking for the kicking ball. And that. <laughs> That's where he'll set it up at the 10 there. So. Be Sears kicking it. So. Yep, he'll come into the game to kick it away. Brandon Sears, the <laughs> sophomore kicker. Ball's down. He gets it up. Wow. It looked good. He got it through. It was a full leg. So Sears gets it through, and he gets the extra point to go. Almost got blocked. But nice job there getting the kick up. So Sears puts well, it through. Well, he put enough he put enough mustard on it that if it did, it might have still made it. Well, in. with that and the wind, yeah, you know, the wind blowing back at it like that, he got it through the upright. So he gets uh, points on the board for the Senators' lead at 55 to six here, with 11:52 to go in this ball game here. So West Washington trying to. Get as many guys in as they can. I think about everybody's touched the field at this yeah, point. Tried to, you're but. trying to find a way that everybody can get a chance to play. Now you, you also want to see here defensively what you can do because you're going to be playing a lot of younger guys here on this position. Right. You want to, you want to, you want to hold the the status quo that's been in this game, and you know you also you missed a couple JV games this year, and you want to get as much experience as you can. So yep, absolutely. Sears will get to kick off here. So see, there's some guys coming in that are. And that allows Trekker to go over there. Like we said, he's just a special teams stud when it comes to that. Yeah, he gets down the field real quick. And I, if man, if you told me how to play any part of football, I'd play special teams. You oh, run yeah. a straight line and go. Yeah, it's just a motor. That's what you need. So Sears will kick off this time as he'll approach it here to put the ball back into play. He does, gets it off. Nice kick oh, by Brennan. Oh, look, that's going to drop right there. In Drops down at about the 22, picked up there by Stroud, I believe, as he brings it up uh, to about the 40-yard line. They'll spot it about the 41. Yeah, Nash just coming. That's actually, that was a. That was not him. Bad. That was Messer, wasn't Messer it? Messer again, yeah. So, at the 41, it'll be first and 10 for the Wolfpack. And I tell you what, that's what we saw Messer playing junior high, and he was a force when he gets going. And so he, it'll be real interesting to see now, Bubba, with some of this Wolfpack offense against a very young team out there. You look at that, I think I see a couple guys still. Yep. Oh, here. we got a lot of our young ones yeah. in here on defense. I know my son Camden, <laughs> Camden's in at linebacker here. He, he All played, right, so we can play. He we're, played we're, a great game the oh, other night a, in the JV game. We're having a timeout, it looks like, already. Yeah, they take we had, the timeout. I think there. we had 14 guys on the field there for a second. We so had we, several out there, I believe. We were trying to. I, we we had enough linebackers finally, I think, to stop anybody there. Yeah, we had about five or six <laughs> out there. Like As those guys come in 
a lot of guys running in trying. I'm going to have to break out our side of the numbers here, Bubba. I don't watch enough of the JV games to understand. Well, yeah, I know a few of them because yep. I've watched several of them, about all of them, matter of fact. But <laughs> It's good to be able to out there. I'm glad to hear you're back out there refereeing, like you said. When you well, yeah, tables. trying to get back into that a little bit. You know, I figure when the boys graduate, I don't know how long I'll do this. I know. You need to Mr. have them do it. don't want me to leave. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, anyway. Well, we don't you leave. It's nice. It's, uh, our crew on Friday nights is a, is a great crew. Our crew up here in the booth always Oh, fun. yeah, we had a great time. So, they'll set up here first and 10 with a wolf pack shotgun with a T in the backfield. Snap will come here on first down. Bell will get and be tripped up there at about the line of scrimmage. So, he might have got yeah, back. They, they, put, they put Shrout on the line there, Bubba. Yeah, I saw that, play. that. So he was in there to block and then just never got his footing whatsoever. And it's So no gain on the play. Second down and about 10 from the 41 for the Wolf Pack. Yeah, it's all set up there. Shotgun formation, T in the backfield, snap will come, he turns, hands it off. Oh, ball oh and the ball come loose, and I believe we got it back. I believe we do. I'm trying to see who it is. The ball. I think Camden. Camden Abbotts? 45, nope, 45 White White come up with it. Yeah. He, they were all there. Camden but White was there. Come, yeah. Somebody, if we had that replay. Camden, I I, they were both in there yeah. on the play, and I'm not sure who squirted the ball loose, yeah. but a fumble and a turnover by the Wolfpack, recovered by the Senators. So they'll get the ball back here at their own 42-yard line. First and 10 for West Washington. They're up 55 to six here with 9.40 left. Yep, and clock continues to run, running clock here in this second half. Oh, you're in uh, Griffith yep. there in the back. Holden Russell will go under center at quarterback. He takes a snap on first down. I tell you what, Griffin's Griffith. got a full head of steam. He's got a lot of room to the outside. There he goes. He's going. Down the sideline. He, he might get it. Go. He's going. He's got it. He's going to score. From 41 so yards. Down untouched. For Jaden Griffith. A great run there by Jaden. His first varsity touchdown. Yeah. And that is great to see as he gets a 41-yard touchdown run. So two TDs in a row for the Senators. And they lead it. 61. To he six. took off like a cannon there. And it was 61 to 6 here. As the centers are just scoring at will here. I mean, that's with young guys too. That's the thing. Sears can put this Sears in. Sears will line up to kick it. Snaps a good one this time. Hold is down. He gets go it, got, it got it over. Up. He got it over. <laughs> got it up. Sears two for two. Yeah. He's doing a great job kicking those through. So the Senators go up 62 to six here with 9.19 to go. Still looking for scores if you got them. Send them over here yeah. so we can give the report here. Uh, I know Barksdale's at home. He'll uh, recovering. Wish him the best here. We keep, uh, I keep going back. I've got an app. I'm trying to update our score for right. max preps. I'm really but, interested in that Salem score uh, because that's our opponent next yeah. week. So we'll see if we can't pull it up. The professor yeah, working Charlestown, on Charlestown. That's Charlestown. Charlestown's got a great student uh, student led uh, Twitter page. Yes, they do. They do. They uh, they do. They got that. So. And, you know, so them playing them tight there. in Charlestown, you know, at the beginning of the year, they were touting them to be the Mid-Southern Conference that's what, champion. That's what we were talking about. But uh, Brownstown has really kind of took that over. North Harrison's had a pretty good year, even though Charlestown put it on them. 32-22 Charlestown, so a tight yeah. game there in the fourth quarter. So. Yep, so Lions playing better as each week. Yep, so that's and that's, be a, that means it's going to be a dogfight here, I think. It always is, so. Yep. So Sears will line up to put the ball back in play as the Senators lead 62-6 to six here. As they set up here to kick off, there's a kickoff. It's a high kick, second That's line Stroud. Stroud. will pick it up at the 30. He'll take it down the sideline, breaks a tackle, finally goes down at about the 40. And that's where the Wolfpack will start. First and 10 out at about the 41-yard line. And the Senators' JV has scored twice here yeah. in this uh, 
in this fourth quarter. Two touchdowns right in a row as yeah. uh, they get that that first one on the pass. Well, and I, I knew we'd probably get a Jaden Griffith another chance there, and he took off, and he has the outside speed. And Collier's got a great ability on the on the dive just to get yards. And Russell's going to be a great quarterback as he gets older. Yes, he is. Got Hold, a, he's, holding, he, he can do a lot of things, man. He's real dangerous when he just – when it's a broken improv play. Improv, improv. Yep. As the Wolfpack line is still not set. T formation. Bell takes a snap. He'll just keep it himself. Tries to get to the outside. And gets he, hit. And he'll go down. Several Senators yeah. there. A host of them there. Yeah, Peyton Schneck. It looks yeah, like number 65. 60 getting off the pile, too. I'm glad yeah, to see that. there you go, Abbott. There you go. I see He's 70 coming, in, coming off, too. Got there. him playing middle linebacker. Jackson He's Whitlow coming out into there. Whitlow in Clinton. there as well. Try to say some of these guys' names we don't get to. That's something right. big. These kids – Work hard. It's a thankless thing. Caden or Camden's older brother, Caden, must have complained because he's out there now. <laughs> he, he don't play much defense, but he said, "Hey, let me in the game." You know, everybody wants to play 749. defense. Seven forty-nine. Yeah, when you're up that much, yeah. snap will come here to Bell. It does. It's a high one, but he pulls it down. And nice play there. Just pressure by the Senators. Look who's there again. Sixty. He's doing yeah, a great job a great in the middle linebacker. In there. I'm gonna say, yeah, he's finding his path there. Reading and uh, they, I just realized the bell. They switched the bells at quarterback there. Yeah, they did. I uh, didn't realize that we had Aiden, Aiden Bell back there. was back there instead of uh, Quentin. So as long as you say Bell, you got, no, it, right. You got it. You got it right. So a loss on that one. Now where are we at? Third down and about fifteen. You know, coach's sons at quarterback are kind of always synonymous. But my friend was from a little town called Finlay, Ohio. Yes. And um, they didn't play a guy there. Till his senior year because the coaches kid played in front of him. His name is Ben Roethlisberger. Oh, well, <laughs> that, was, that makes sense. Snap yeah. comes. They had people everywhere. We get oh, pressure, though. We're going to sack him in the backfield. He'll go down all the way back at about the – yeah, they'll spot him at about the 33-yard line. So, so, Tom told me, he said, Ben Roethlisberger didn't get started till his senior year. That's why he wound up at Miami, Ohio, because he was his – the coach's kid was in front of him all those years. He said yeah. that, that guy that guy went to Finlay, Ohio, the Oilers, the the school there, and then been with the Miami, Ohio, and then so on to the NFL. And right. Probably in Canton, Ohio, pretty soon. It won't be long. He'll be all over the state. Fourth and eighteen now for wow. the Wolfpack. Let's see. Are they going to pin their ears back here and go? Let's see. You got a lot of them. Fourth down and eighteen now. T formation in the backfield. Snap comes. Oh, ball's down ball's on the ground. On the ground. He just flipped it backwards yep. to a guy. And, and we picked it up. Back. Yes, we got it back. That, that. 45, Wyatt Wallace on the recovery. Yes. Wyatt Good had job, Wyatt's so doing great here. So him. Guess who was there, though? I have to 60 get, made the hit. <laughs> I'm so I proud could, of there him. There were so many of them that just came in and it just went. Good for him. Good for a lot of them. I tell you what, there were some guys coming off there. Uh, oh, my. A broken play, and I was like, oh, he's real. he tried flipping it forward, and that's when the ball came up. Yep, so either way, we would have got it back, even if he wouldn't have yeah. fumbled. So Get a little better position there, so Yeah, we got, gained a few yards out of it. Down at the 22-yard uh, line. First and 10 with 5.20 to go. No. I'll break the huddle, come to the line, holding Russell. We'll go under center. Collier behind him along with Griffith. Collier will get the call this time, and he just takes a middle dive down to about the 20-yard line. A couple-yard gain there by Jameson. <laughs> Second and eight coming. Now for the Senators, just shy of the 20. You know, Coach Glowry couldn't get a fedora. I might have to give him a fedora made. Yeah. Because he <laughs> thinks he can't pull it off. <laughs> he – uh he did talk that when he was at Paley, they had embroidered khakis. I don't know if he said that on the interview on the air. They had embroidered khakis, and I remember, really? yeah, and it was like, oh. I've never crazy. had anything embroidered in uh, my life. Yeah, you got your, as, as Mr. <laughs> yeah, I like yeah, that. That one's the best. Snap will come oh, here, and Collier will Stroud. get stood up and go down. That's a freshman versus a senior there. Yeah, <laughs> he ran into a wall there wall. in Stroud. So, no gain on the play. We got a we've got a, a player injured for Crawford County on their sideline. There, so a lot of stuff. We're gonna step away for a quick uh, commercial yeah. break. You're listening to WWSR, the official home of West Washington live stream. High school sports fans, welcome back. 
to game time, to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to High School Sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana High School Sports. This is your IHSAA. Yeah, four sixteen to go. We have an injury the time contest. out there. Sorry about that. We we're trying to figure out if we were coming yeah. back and uh sixty two <laughs> to six here and an injury there for a Crawford County player. Hopefully not hurt too bad as they attend to him out there on the field. Senators uh with the ball down at the twenty two yard line. Wanna throw out a big uh promotion that's going on at the I got a Mr. Akers got it. I gotta read it. Uh Alden Lundgren, one of our uh, yes, one of our uh, uh, managers here, he's actually uh, brought up that they're doing the Haunted Forest down at the Buffalo Trace next. Yes, is it next weekend? Or the weekend after? Two weekends. Two weekends away on the twenty-first. Yeah. The same, yeah, it's the same weekend as the Fall Festival out here. Gotcha. And so he uh, wanted us to throw that plug sure. out there. So make sure you know that if you look at that the BPA is running that. So make sure you uh, attend that. Some great chances. We talked about all these events. Is the centers are going to run up here to the line with four oh nine left. Try to get a playoff. Got twins yep. to the right. Third and ten as Russell goes under center, takes a snap, pitches, goes back to Griffith. He's got the outside. He cuts it again. He runs, in, runs in into a guy and gets hit and goes down inside the 20 at about the 18. Bell and Damon Montgomery there on the tackle for the Wolfpack. And so maybe Russell will get a chance to pass it here with a fourth and six, and it's definitely going to be a opportunity for him. He's got some I've I've heard that on the J V when it's going well, he's got some really good receivers there. They yeah, he they've been able to throw the ball pretty well. Which is something that's you know usually not happening on J V so So fourth and six at the nineteen. I in the backfield, Russell will go under center. Takes oh, oh he fumbled, oh, he fumbled he the ball right on. there, yeah. yeah. So they'll turn it over on downs. So the Wolfpack will get it with three ten left and the center's leading sixty two to six here. So, young centers don't uh, need to drop their heads just yet because the way they've been playing on defense, they can maybe get one more shot here with the ball or score on defense, which is quite possible. All kinds of stuff. There's, And we got the youth. We're going to be honoring the youth uh, on yeah, the next, next week. Yeah, next week will be a busy night. A busy night as always. So, here we go. First and 10 Wolfpack at the 19 as they'll take the snap here on first down. Bell. Letting Bell's taking all his time. Yeah, down. He's yeah, he's just taking his time here. He's in there, and I, I don't know if his brother's okay. If that's why his uh, yeah. brother's over on the sideline. Snap or. comes. He'll take it. They'll counter back the other way. And the ball carry goes down there at the 20 yard line. I'll say it, Messer's a great little back. He's got some, you would, it would be amazing for him to see um, playing in front of a line maybe that can, that can throw some blocks for him because he's very quick with the first step and getting downhill. Yep, second and eight now at the 20 yard line. As they'll break the huddle, under two minutes to go in the ball game. Split a receiver wide to each side. T in the backfield. Bell in there at the quarterback. Snap will come. He'll turn, hand it off. And just right up the middle there. Again on the run. Number 60, Camden Abbott on the there tackle. There you go. Joey Hart right getting in it. the middle. He's just he's playing that middle linebacker. He's just going on every play. Peyton Mancini getting a chance yep, to play Peyton there. Joseph there. Hart. I see some guys just trying to get some names. Tristan Brown, Tristan Brown in there. Tristan Brown, a name we'll probably be calling a lot. Oh, yeah. In the You'll hear his there. name in the future. And so, we want to also, Isaiah Dennis, you're probably watching tonight. And, and uh, wanted to wish you well. I yes. uh, bet you're at home watching or listening. So, Isaiah, get to feeling better. Snap comes on third down. They'll counter back into the middle. And tackle made there. And, of course, Landon Holloway, I know you're listening somewhere. So, uh, 
we're uh, thinking about you guys and uh, wish you were here with us and got so a big game next week. down and about three here. Yes, continued prayers for Landon as he continues yeah. his coverage. Isaiah had it. He got injured on Monday, had his surgery on Thursday. He's back home, and that's going to be it. That's it. That's going to be the ball game. 62-6 to six here. Senators win it over the Wolfpack at Crawford County. So that sets up the showdown next week against Salem. County rival, county championship on the line here for West Washington if they can win that one. So that would be huge, and we'll be here with you with all the action. So that's all the time we're going to have tonight. I want to remember Salem Sports Card Show coming up in uh, – what is that? It's the 14th, 14th? 14th of the fairgrounds. Yes. And, uh, so, yeah. Fireworks 9, going 9 on. 9 a.m., 2 p.m. We'll see you guys there. Thank you so much, guys. And we'll I'll see you guys back at sectional. And, yep. Uh, we'll see you in uh, two weeks. Well, you'll yep. be here next I'll be here. I'll do some. I'll do some. You come up. I got to come up and do some. You got some. to. I, can't, I got to have my partner. <laughs> you know, Thank you guys so much. Everybody have a great fall break. So, Coach Mills uh, will be back with us next week as uh, these senators take on Salem here. So, that's all the time we've got tonight for the Professor Craig Akers, for Coach Brad Mills. This is Bubba Abbott. We say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to the studio.